everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome to Tuesday Tech Talk with live with us. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> smooth beginnings. Uh, uh, thank you guys for tuning in tonight with us. Uh, it's Tuesday and it somehow feels like Wednesday. It feels like eight days in a row without any sleep is what it feels like. <laughs> We're You're still running off. on fumes here. Yeah. Um, a little bit off the schedule with sleeping. Contractors, uh, daughter who has got one crazy school. I forgot to tell you when I went to pick up Chris at school, they were telling me the teachers that it actually is a bug going around. So mm. his teacher told me right away. Yeah, it looks like she's not gonna be all going to school tomorrow either, so. It's, it just won't seem to end. She's just sick to her stomach. So, hope yeah. to God tonight she can get some sleep. She's been sleeping a lot. Like last night, she was out for like 12 hours, and today she slept a good bit. But yeah. still. It's, it's good It's yeah. good to have sleep, but she doesn't have too much energy, too. So, it's, it's an awful, awful bug. Uh, well, uh, and it won't be long before we catch it, as per usual. So, <laughs> so uh, stick around with us. Yeah, though, exactly. still not. Yeah. <laughs> Live from the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's what the size of Hopefully not. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> but today's Tuesday. Today's our Tuesday Tech Talk. Uh, so get ready your questions, uh, any discussions, any um, discoveries that you made through the week about uh, tech yeah. or gadgets or anything like that. And uh, yeah, let's see who's in. Uh, well, natural bound. I just seen right here wrote, uh, "Hello, all beautiful peoples. I can't stay today, but I thought I'd stop by in and say hello to everyone. Well, hello to you, and thank you so much for coming by. Always love having the Canadian channels in here. So thank you very much. And a special shout out to uh, Gator, the legend. Uh, we would like to know how is it going? Yes. Uh, did it go? <laughs> Oh, uh, also John CRV is here. Hey, how you doing? Enjoying your travels, my friend. You're back to the busy season, but it's great to have you here. Hope you're uh, looking forward to lots more of your adventures. Uh, and yeah, we're uh, going to be, uh, well, uh, I have some pictures to show from Sour Saturday. Not too many. Before anybody freaks out and thinks it's going to be 500 of them, I promise. I, I'm not lying to them, am I? No. Okay. No, I'm making short. Because <laughs> okay. I'm... Everybody, as you see, reaction they hear any kind of photos from something that was like two hours of well, shots. Thank you for encouraging me. No problem. Uh, <laughs> Saturday, we, as, uh, as you all know, we went for a little drive to Ontario <laughs> and uh, we happened uh, to end up our trip at uh, these three old airplanes were in the middle of the yeah. field and you could get into them and press the buttons and. Uh, yeah, it's not like a park or anything, or just a uh, long It's a truck planes. stop. It was, it was yeah. crazy. And uh, we took some pictures, so if you're interested in planes, uh, uh, just uh, will be a little... Little pictures, that's all? Two pictures? <laughs> My goodness. Little, little pictures? Yeah, be hard to people see. enjoyed the pictures the other day you yeah, were showing. Of from, course. Uh, old times no i know i know i'm just saying sometimes you know when you run into somebody at a party and they're like hey i've got family photos and they're like okay well so i just was wanting to know it runs for the doors to be reinforced <laughs> to them that they don't have to hide <laughs> it won't be two hours of this is grandma kicking uh dirt around the yard and 12 different shots and stuff like that yeah speaking about terrifying. grandmas uh yesterday we were talking a lot about grandmas and by the way yesterday we had an amazing guest so yesterday that was um recent vlogs recent family vlogs they were so amazing there was lots of laughs and lots of tears uh was a, a lot of explosion of emotions from all sides and in and the chat yeah um definitely go check it out from our yesterday's stream uh it was really interesting lots of probably um a lot of how you haven't seen them on on their vlogs uh you'll see them in a bit uh different light not yeah. that they're different but in no. a deeper light so to say it was yeah yeah it was very and they were talking about their grandma so uh because they were bro uh, both basically brought up with their uh grandmothers and uh, today is um, uh, five years ago. My grandmother passed away, and uh, she—I was very close to her uh, as well. Um, spend a lot of summers with her, and uh, lots of weekends, especially when my mom uh, was working a shift, I would stay with her. And uh, lots of things about literature and uh, theater and culture and history was uh, came from her. She originally. 
uh, was born in Karelia, which is uh, northern part of Russia, the cold northern part of Russia, and then uh, went to Moscow to study uh, drama. She was an actress, uh, lead actress in Riga Drama Theater for a long time. Uh, so I miss her. I still miss her. So mm. today I kind of, I guess, uh, think about her a little bit more than usual. That's and uh, Sorry. if you still have your grandma alive, uh, hug her close today or give her a call. Uh, and if not, uh, just, you know, she's still there in your heart. <laughs> uh, so, Gator, Gator, what is the update? Well, here it is. He had said, uh, sent it. I was bringing it up while you were talking, so that's why I didn't I didn't want to see it in Central, but I knew you were going to want to know after. Yeah, so, we weren't on um, so, too much today, so. I don't want to give away too much on his Twitter, but he gave us some updates with a huge congratulations. Congratulations! You can pop out a cigar uh, if uh, you do, or <laughs> champagne, <laughs> or whiskey. Uh, that's amazing. That was so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, I just love babies. So cute. Whole life ahead of them. I look at right there. Yeah, welcome to the world, little one. Yes, and welcome to the the papa and the mama as well. To all of you. <coughs> and, and we were so we were so excited yeah. <laughs> when you once you told us it is coming on the fifth. We're like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> thinking about you today all day as well. Uh, so uh, welcome, welcome. I like that uh, mini gator three, Jacob. Mini gator uh, three. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah. yeah oh that's so amazing i i'm glad everything went well and baby is nice and healthy eight pounds six pounds of 21 yeah inches long. that's all we mm. wish for and look at the blonde hair <clears throat> blonde hair wow usually kids have more darker hair yeah no so this is gonna be a heartbreaker <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations to you, Gary. We're really, yes. really, really happy for you. On behalf of everybody here, uh, congratulations to you as well. And, um, and yeah, Juliet, uh, this is a third one, Gator, right? Uh, so it's going to be an even extra tax deduction. <laughs> uh, but uh, we will use your bourbon to uh, cheer for a Gator today. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Baptism. <laughs> I also want to say just a quick shout out sort of two wheel effects, uh, two wheel fix, excuse me. Hello, I'm heading up uh, Scottish Highlands just listening because I can't type and drive. I hope you are well. There's a channel, I love this guy's work, and I was just thinking, you know, it's probably been a month since I got to see any of his, you know, just because of rotation, probably over and find out I'm unsubscribed or something. This guy's got amazing work, and I, I think it's your first time in the channel, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really happy to have you here. And Sticky Buds uh, 420 or a buddy or friend or pal, amazing guy. I have a technical issue. How do you keep up with all the amazing streamers and uploaders with so few hours in a day? <laughs> well, that's the million dollar question, my friend. Yes, it is. And and we just ran into each other in Stephanie's stream. She was back on for a little bit, yeah. best friend in your thread. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I just ran in for a little bit to say hi. I was so happy to see her beautiful face. And Sticky Buds was there as well. The cool thing is all, you meet so many great people through here. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, Abra, uh, Abrak, Abrakas. Abraxas VPRD, yeah, which right. is a, a hashtag para peeps. They're panic deep uh, pals. Right, right. No, I remember them. I just couldn't pronounce them properly. I didn't want to. It's one of those ones you like take a deep breath and don't want to screw up. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't be. I won't be for a few minutes. I'm doing live streams on my own. No problem at all. Just glad you could be in, and that's nice to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, Stephanie is awesome. She's out for dinner and might pop in later on when she's back. So. <laughs> it is hard. It's really hard when you there's so many great channels, and the more we've grown, the greatest gift is getting you having you guys become connected with us, and then trying to return the fear which is the most important part of all of it and we do because then you know even try to like breaking it up between each other yeah we sometimes sit and watch separate live streams side by side we do and that's i guess know. the advantage of having two of us behind the channel because yeah. we, we do a lot of that <laughs> it's but you know still i just i feel there's a guilt kind of comes with it sometimes you just can't get everybody as much as you desperately want to so i don't know we just keep trying our best and uh, all hours of the day, whenever free moments, I'll get into something. You know, I'm answering for like an hour and a half. It just 
Yeah, and in. the social media also. What I what I often do, I, I and I have uh, started to do that a lot too, is start listening instead of watching. Yeah. Unless there's uh, something visually important to watch, because uh, that way I can work and uh, listen to it at the same time. Like no matter what I do, the pictures or media or whatever it is, there I usually I use it instead of radio because I usually had radio or music on. Mm. Uh, so most of the time now I have videos on. Uh, listening uh, and then the ones that have to be watched then i watch uh, later on 2448 toy man i'm so glad to have you here it's been a while um if, guys this guy's out of i believe you're out of it i don't know, i might get this wrong a toby call if i remember right uh, in toronto um great shots from these uh model railroad layout like really cool shots and stuff like that you can get to see it from the perspective of the trains uh going through the layout as if it was like a real train you know they're using like small like i'm assuming like fisheye cameras and stuff like that very cool though a lot of work into that thing too you know i was reading a couple of years ago somewhere and i seen it i don't know what i was maybe mall railroad or something i got an old copy that the average layout was like 40 grand or something like that in the states like oh you know. wow the wow. money and the time i mean uh, uh, the, wow <laughs> and the <laughs> thing about the mall railway what's so cool is you have to know i i wish I, I i admire the guys that do it because they do everything they're basically like the skills of a farmer but on a small scale they literally build or some of them that build the engines from scratch like cutting they got miniature lace like that big mm -hmm. and milling pieces um and all the skills seen guys making trees for their layouts and uh they were making them out of rope and spinning them apart and spinning them and working them bringing them out and then putting the shavings on top all the scale to make these colored leaves and stuff it's a lot of detailed work yep uh i remember uh one of one of the places that uh numerous places we have uh, seen uh, these layouts was in montreal when they were just closing uh, their uh, yes big, uh, central spot Unfortunately, it was inside the bridge uh, structure. The train bridge, yeah, yeah coming inside the train the bridge. Uh, was really cool, and uh, and then unfortunately they had to close it due to financial issues. And they had the last kind of exhibition, and uh, you could uh, watch yeah. that all. We went there with kids. So it was very interesting. I used to take my oldest there when he was little. You know, since he was like three or four, that was the tradition every year before Christmas to go see it. They'd have an open house for like a week and to raise money. Yeah, they actually got run out by CN, and CN owns the bridge, and they raised the yeah. rent so badly that, that they couldn't stay there anymore. That was unfortunate, especially because it was so, uh, you know, classic, yep. uh, iconic almost uh, uh, for where it was. Uh, so yeah, but um, but I think they're still somewhere now. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure where the new place is. To be honest, I hope they got a decent place, yeah. but. Uh, to, uh, it was all oh, London, Ontario. Sorry about that. I knew I don't have the best memory. I, <laughs> I apologize about that. ATGH says the whole crew here is awesome. And you know what, guys? I was just talking about uh, 2448 Toy Map. But look at everybody in here. There's such a mix from all the specialty channels. That's what's so cool about all this. It's because uh, a lot of you guys are in the specialty channels. You spend a lot of your day, of course, and rightfully so, mingling with groups uh, like are connecting with the channels that are in within the same specialty you're into. And that's what's so cool about this. You know, you can go down the list here and you have, like, almost everybody's into something different, but we're all here together under one roof, and that's about YouTube. That's what's so cool. This is that gray area I was talking about. You could have somebody who's into car, uh, building cars, but also finds model train building neat, you know, and uh, another person who's into... Uh, uh, hair and stuff like that, but also finds furniture building interesting. And yeah, it's works. a very diverse, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you, you guys are very diverse. And that's what is so awesome about it. You yeah. know, uh, we love that for sure. Let's see who's in. Yep, let's go. Uh, so, let's see. So, hashtag X-Ray uh, HEC. Uh, welcome, welcome. A two four four eight toy man as mentioned uh six in the mix so uh, welcome back uh abraxas uh, apparently i pronounced it correctly mm, uh <laughs> apgh travels welcome welcome beauty and deber our guest for tomorrow mm -hmm. tomorrow hey, we're looking gonna forward have to it on. it's gonna be good yeah which one of you is on today? <laughs> uh, BR Fam TV, Christopher Spence, uh, Dexter Tang, 
Uh, dog is my co-pirate. I love that I name. Love I know it's so amazing. <laughs> Don't we bad. Welcome back. I love that you keep coming back mm -hmm. to us. And uh, Juliet, of course, uh, the podcaster, one of the top 200 iPad podcasts out there. And as a side note with Juliet, sort of cut you off. I just, if you go back and look, guys, in our videos, you're going to see I redid the, all the live streams. Well, I'm getting there. I worked, I literally never slept last night redoing all the thumbnails and partly today as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and Juliet, you're one of the ones that I just put a new picture for and stuff like that. It's a whole new format. We're getting away from calling them live streams. So, yeah. So, if you have been a, a guest on our show, uh, go and check it out. Uh, you might have a different thumbnail on <laughs> <laughs> and was rejuvenating uh, the thumbnails. Uh, Rosorian Buck, uh, seven blessings. Hello, Cher Erickson, uh, Sticky Buds, of course, uh, John CRV. Uh, T. Strong, Tarot the Original, Tracy Betts is in. Yes, welcome, welcome. Uh, Benjamin is in. Night Shame is in. Our guest for Thursday. Thursday. Night Shame with the greatest voice in all of YouTube. We're so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there are going to be so many girls just uh, listening. <laughs> well, I like his voice. Not a girl. I still like his voice. No, though. I know. I know. I'm just talking yeah. about the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. uh, Arcane Amusement, welcome back. Uh, so nice to see you. I seen Opal in at the beginning. I don't know where did she go. She just wrote again here. Oh, oh so Opal, Opal. <laughs> it's yeah. nice to see you. Uh, this time I travel. Uh, oh my God, it, it pops so fast. I can't read it. Mm -hmm. Time around travel log. Uh, welcome, welcome. And Bobby Situ and Dexter Tang. And if I forgot something, please shout it out. And if you Someone, are. Someone, not something. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> If I forgot someone, uh, uh, please shout out. And if you are just watching us and not in chat, if you can say hi, and if you are too shy, that's okay. I agree, Resorian Buck. Night Shame is great, and I don't know. There's, I'm not the big. I like game, but I'm, I haven't been much for like uh, the, the the gaming scene on YouTube and that. But I don't know. His voice is mesmerizing. It's so like he should be on. I don't know what kind of show. He's just got this distinctive voice. It's so smooth and calm. It's like FM radio meets it all. And he's like, he doesn't miss a beat. Mm -hmm. He doesn't skip on these words. He's sitting there playing the game. And he's like, and then we're coming up. We have another guy on the side here. Oh, look, 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 look. It's Rosalind Book just walked in. He's such a lovely guy. Hello, chap. How are you? And he's just like back and forth like that. I'm like, how the hell does this guy do it? I think mm -hmm. we might be home tomorrow. So maybe if we can, Night Chain will try it out tomorrow. Uh, so we don't yes. have to for sure. out about it on either mm -hmm. of the sides um <coughs> and tip for you guys uh, uh we had one kick up uh, last week with one of our guests and the discovery was that you should be using chrome browser mm -hmm. uh that uh, and i knew that already increase the chances of getting in so yeah. if you don't have chrome download it and we'll try it tomorrow night. especially on pc it's, yeah. it's pretty much the i i shouldn't have known that to know anything uh, which is better, top chat or live chat? Uh, well, uh, live chat is yeah. better because top chat mm, might uh, omit Skims. some of the yeah, it it, it omits some of the yeah. uh, entries, especially if there are lots of people, then you might not see something. Yeah, uh, like I would put on live because sometimes it does, and then you don't know what. We what always run on live, and for some reason, if you go to participants and jump back, it always sets it to uh, top chat, yeah. and we forget sometimes, and then we do miss questions here and there that people are asking. So. Trish G, hey, hey, hey. Hey, how are you? Good That's to... amazing. Night just, oh, nice to see you guys. Yeah, exactly. My God, such a great turnout once again. Uh... Well, uh, also, guys, uh, while we are at it, um, please like and share if you can. Actually, you know something? I'm sorry, just thinking of something. 2448 Toy Man. Um, if you're on Twitter, you can go on any of our videos and see our link. If you're interested, that would be cool some night to have him on if he wanted to do it and do it like right from his layout. Yeah, it would be great. Because I know he does stream from it sometimes. If you're interested, you're hearing this and you'd like to, um, yeah, send just send us a message in Twitter uh, so we can connect. And uh, yeah, that would be kind of cool, actually. People get to see what really goes on with all of it. Then I think it would be really interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, go do that and uh, message us if anybody else wants to be on and also uh, either share the, uh, 
video or if you're too lazy to do that go yeah. over to our twitter account and, and the link is right in the chat right now and reshare our poster about this live that's right show. um the more the merrier um yep perfect Excellent. Two, four, four. uh well, perfect we'll exactly you just put the link in so if you click on it right it's just right above your comment and just send us a quick line and we'll do that that would be really cool We've had such a variety of stuff. I love that. Mm -hmm. It has it's been such a mix of people and their and their interests and their styles and that. Oh yeah, and uh, I mean, and Friday we're gonna have uh, some yummy, yummy goodness on. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. reveal that. Just now. And uh, and Saturday we're gonna have some cultural uh, education. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I, I like how every day is something like different, mm -hmm. you know, a different type of channel. I feel like we're that it's entertainment amazing. section of a morning show. You know what they bring on there? It's the weatherman that also does the sign that is Dave from Utah who likes to uh who likes to uh, barbecue and then the yeah. one who's you know. I would like rather to replace Jim Fallon show. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I feel a little nauseous right now. Replace, that's yeah, yeah replace, but uh, nothing in common with. Okay, yeah, because we are kind of. I won't. Well, that's what I'm thinking. We're kind of the early late show. Yeah, but yeah. Trish D after six cup of coffee, uh, <laughs> coffee is saying yummy, yummy goodness. Male strippers. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing you did guess right. It's a male. <laughs> No, he's not a stripper. Oh my god. <laughs> and she said that we rock doing this every night. I'm not sure if we rock or mentally insane, but either way it happens. So we we can... Irvin, the babe tourist. Hey, how are you? Know. Where are you tonight, my friend? You have stopped for the night, and it seems to me that you have been starting to stop for the night earlier and earlier. But just <laughs> just just in time to hear Xenia talk about lazy truck drivers. Well, she's kind of married to one, I guess. So. Oh no, I never said the truck drivers are lazy. Where did that come from? <laughs> my goodness, no. Hi, mm. JD, uh, night seven. Hi, hi, hi. Mm. Now I hope I hope I didn't miss anybody. I, there's so many coming in, guys, and it's so great to have you all. And like I say, I apologize if we look a bit off. Like I say, we've had contractors here the last two days. Our daughter has been really, really, really sick, like a really bad virus going around. Uh, everybody is just on <laughs> running on fumes, but you guys are an amazing, forgiving audience, and we appreciate it. And we're gonna still. Have an amazing time tonight. So, and Irvin, just okay, just uh, listen to us, uh, uh, you know, lay back, yeah, fall asleep. <laughs> That's fine. You had a long road, yeah, but uh, thank you for tuning in. You're such a great supporter for doing that. That means the world to us. I love when people say they're doing that. It's great to have you talk in the chat, but to say like that, you know. Oh no, good sell. Oh no, sorry. I'm so sorry. I missed you. I'm oh. so sorry. Please, sorry. This is like I don't know how many cops already. Yeah. I've been third day of not quite sleeping, and we haven't slept at all last night. So we've been really rolling. I actually uh, slept for forty minutes before we started the live streamings, and you woke me up at seven fifty. Yeah, like, so I apologize. So. It's not our it's A game. To see you. But we'll give you our best. How's that sound? That's about the best we can offer. Uh, Florida Park Adventures. It's something fun to say hi. Hi. I love that channel. He's cool. He's a really cool guy. Oh, there's so many cool. <clears throat> yes. Oh, but I I just wondered if you were going to show something. No, I was just looking for something for a second. If it comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Do you want to show your pictures? Do you want to go now? Uh, well, yeah, they're in the share share folder. Oh, okay, you. sure. Alrighty then. So let's do that. Let's go to the share folder, everybody. So prepare your questions for Tuesday while we are for, doing this. Let's go uh, pop share. them in the chat. Uh, it would be great if you could put "app push studios" uh, in your sentence so I can see them better with my tired eyes. You just made hundred peeps today, Irvin. Oh, congratulations. This is it. Uh, well, I guess yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the full. So it's gonna be like a story time. No, I just want to do okay. uh, just show the. That's pictures. me driving. There you go, and all of the excitement. Uh, yeah, we went for a drive. So these planes, three planes, Cessna. Are they all Cessnas? Yeah. One were Cessna. All three Cessnas. You could actually go inside them, and they are like 
half ruined, obviously, you know. Um, and um, but but still, it was neat, you know. You push the buttons, and the flaps are going, and <laughs> yeah, was... you can pull this the this uh, how's it called the steering? Yeah, yeah. Uh, steering. That was so amazing. Uh, kids just lit up. Uh, they just loved it so much. And we spent like a good uh, hour probably there. It's, they're just sitting there. And I can already see like how amazing would be a photo shoot there with some kind of vintage clothing, you know? Oh, yes. Things like that uh, would be really cool. Like wedding pictures would be really cool uh, there. <clears throat> a cool pictures. See? <laughs> That's so cool. Coolness, they say. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> what? No, that's a detail. It's, a... Uh, it's something. It is. That's a contemporary. I feel like Conor O'Brien when he used to do those picture slides there with him and what's his name there? The drummer there. That's a contemporary. <laughs> that's right. I do. You haven't been hanging out Instagram too oops, for too long. Hmm. Hello, Michael McReynolds. We are just showing off some pictures of mine that Andrew really doesn't want to. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's, that's not like this one. Okay, so this that's what it is. It's a truck stop between Ottawa and Montreal, and, um, and then there's a towing uh, operation right behind it. Herb's Towing. They're actually on that TV show uh, uh, Discovery Canada Rescue 401, and uh, of course their Cornwall counterpart, but. So it's all tied together. They own everything there because it's uh, Herb's uh, gas uh, uh, fueling station. And they have these planes just sitting there. There's our son in the middle. He had a great time with it. Oh, he loves planes. Like, he was so excited. You could mm. see just his eyes were lit up that you could, oh, my God, Mom, you could press these buttons, and it's all moves, and the tail moves. <laughs> God, his voice is high all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, voice I think made. today is going to be one of those nights, <laughs> yeah? I can hear the critique going. Gosh. Yeah, Andrew, quit being so mean, the good so left say. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how you doing, Brian? Craft beer pours, <laughs> the other half. Welcome, welcome. Rob93. Oh, we got all the... Dexter Tang. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Yeah. Do you like this one? I love this one. No, this is nice. This is really, they're really nice. Trish D said you're going to get yourself in trouble. I'm always and in trouble. The good cell life said that you're in trouble already. So. That's right. If you're Thank always you. in trouble, you don't have to worry about getting into it. I'm old enough not to worry about it. To it. This is really cool. This is a cool shot. This is great, like stock photography shots. Yeah. Not. This is. You see how it's uh, in focus as it fade and then fades out. This is really good stock photography. I haven't seen these yet, guys. So. Uh, this is That's kinda... why he's so critical. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> no, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. What's this? Yeah. It's a propeller. <laughs> One of oh my goodness. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Help! I don't know what you're asking now, for. Now, here, can you spot me oh. in that picture? There. Mm -hmm. Good eye. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, as the kids would say. <laughs> now, there's going to be a couple of a bit fuzzy pictures, but I still like them because we were trying for 15 minutes to do like a, a kids and me portrait. She's not exaggerating. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was obviously out of focus most of the time mm. and because we couldn't, my flip um, screen, it doesn't flip all the way backwards, so I couldn't see what it was doing. All random pictures, as you can see, oh but I just God, love the composition. Awesome. Look at Audrey there. Oh, we look like the Partridge family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a, such a family moment mm -hmm. there. But it is. <laughs> you can see how long we've taken to get this set up. You can pretty much see it in my face. <laughs> that was on Saturday. We went for a drive. Yeah. <laughs> My um, daughter was in one of the planes. And I just took her a picture with the phone, and I asked her where she was flying to, and she said she was flying up high in the sky to see Jesus and God, which is cute. But I'm not so sure because I mean I'm not not religious, just that we're not the most religious. So I was, found it interesting that she said that. It was nice. It was cute. Yeah, you can see the excitement in Chris's eyes here. Mm. Like he's so, so excited.
See, a lot of I like do self portraits in the reflections. I know. Where is the comment? Where is the mean comment? I'm waiting for it. Not saying nothing. Not saying that no. is uh, in the car. <laughs> oh. oh, there yeah, we go. That's another. I have tons of these. I don't know why. I just like the the uh, lots of the time when I had my um, photography oh. profile on 500 pixels. Uh, I had to change them all the time, but uh, all of them with the, like reflection picture. <laughs> it was a good time because I guess in the way is we've had a lot of cold weather this winter, a lot of things go on, and we used to do that all the time. Literally, we have a gold bag, and I would come home from work sometimes back when I wasn't working the house and say, okay, because then we're leaving, and within 15 minutes, the kids were packed, and we were gone for the weekend, and we just take off a lot of times no plans where we ended up is where we ended up so it is nice to start doing that a little bit again so yeah thank you and yes Trish D, i was i am so bad at doing selfies like I, I can't do that okay that's why it is reflection pictures because i have to take picture of the reflection like i tried selfies and i don't know how people do it it just comes out really awful every time so that are for yeah. reflection of a duck face I, I don't I can't stand that I can't stand uh, selfies. <laughs> don't like being in pictures. Don't like it. And Xenia always finds a way to get us into them so it's somewhere. But uh, yeah, anyway. thank you. I just thought I would share it because we were talking about that on Monday mm -hmm. uh, or Saturday. Yes. Uh, and and I promised that I will share some pictures because I shared with her. Mm -hmm. So tech talk, and I'm a photographer. Mm -hmm. Well then, there you go. There you go. You see, good stuff. <laughs> okay, and now Andrew is taking over. It's just a tech talk. Uh, no, you so open up the photography. The chat. <laughs> so, so to talk about photography. Talk about what you did that day. So go, there's a great intro into tech talk. Let's start with photography right there. So talk a little bit about. No, it. I just You're wanted up. to show family pictures. You're up. <laughs> Have you guys noticed our thumbnails with us in the picture? Those are selfies really wow well i would need to get like some kind of uh you know five tips on taking selfies i do know like the angles but i don't understand how to hold the phone in order to get what i want like it's always so awkward like i need to get that holder i think blindly honestly she has on the back of the phone as well like this little holder you stick on it and then like it comes between your fingers and it's so easier because otherwise it's just so it's like it's so crooked. Like I don't, I don't know how people do that. I don't get it. It's uh, it's definitely a, it's a talent all its own. It's a, uh, it's a balancing act. I don't get it for the life of me. Yes, and Tracy, I, I tried doing a selfie and failed very badly at it. Yeah, I know. And then they're all the young girls. They all take selfies all the time, and I just don't understand it. There, guys. There's like a bit of the new layout, as you can see. Oh, I forgot to cancel that video. I'll shut that off in a minute. We do our preview video every day, and then we usually unlist it at 8 o'clock because it's going to get buried anyways. I just keep it up uh, unlisted and then make sure I reply to anybody on there or anybody new because they won't see it, put it on somewhere else, and then take it off because it would just be too many videos uh, to work around for. It gets too confusing between, you know, if you're going fast, sometimes I'm scared I'm going to delete one day one of the good ones by accident instead of the temporaries. But that's our new layout. We have bigger thumbnails now. Uh, bigger, sorry, not bigger thumbnails, but bigger portraits of everybody. So they're easier to see. We've taken off live stream off of everything, and now we're going with the term tube life. That's the name of the series we've decided to give it. Maybe we'll change it down the road, but I don't know. I find it's, uh, it, it, we wanted to make it more like a series because sometimes when people go back, when they find you guys, like that's an added benefit for us and for you guys because if they find your channel and subscribe, well, then hopefully this will show up somewhere down the mix. And people tend to kind of shy away from re-watching live streams, especially from people they don't know. So that's why I want to make it more into a series. So, yeah, go ahead, Tom. Uh, people are talking about selfies still in the chat, and I just had a great, uh, great uh, idea. Uh, how about we all do a challenge, and let's hashtag it uh, Blue Ranch Selfie. Uh, take a picture of yourself, a selfie. Yeah. I, I've got to do it too. And I just, you know, said I'm not good at it at all. And uh, let's post it on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, hashtag Blue Wrench Selfie. That's a good idea. 
uh, and uh, let's check each other out to uh, see see how we're doing with that. Because we, cool. we struggle with the idea of like with the Blue Wrench group and stuff like that for a while, but I think we've built it up enough now that people know what it means. It's not a sub for sub place. It's got no catches to it or anything like that. It just means a group where we all kind of hang out. So uh, that would be something good to kick it off with. There you go. That's yeah, uh, I'm going to do it right now. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try and see how amazing this is going to work. Yes, Trish, you got to get Twitter. I know, and I hated it. I'm, I, I'm lucky Xenia takes care of it. I do it once in a while. Like today, I, I did the tweet for the preview and stuff. But, yeah, unfortunately, right now, it's probably the easiest way for uh, messaging and stuff. Well, you're doing it right now. Well, yeah, I yeah, am, but that's got, what I'm on. Uh, well, you can still talk because yeah, this okay. is not going to be one minute. That's what I'm talking about. This is um, this is so awkward. <laughs> Tracy Betts. Oh, no, I'm uh, out already. Get Trish on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the other blue wrench challenge is to get Trish on Twitter. That's right. Hashtag get Trish on Twitter. Yes. And club an <laughs> epic face. Selfie. Selfie. My goodness. Keep it adult. Well, I mean, I, unless you're okay of uh, putting it on, on Twitter. Well, that's good, uh, Tommy, man. Uh, and great for you, Dole Whip. He's got a really great... Both of you got great channels. I think you guys will really enjoy each other's stuff. Now, so. should I do duck face? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Oh, you got Twitter yesterday. Excellent. That's cool. A big oh, round of applause. <laughs> I love it. Anybody you just don't know, and most of us don't even really use it, so it's not going to be a big shocker. That um, I don't know if you guys heard the news that as of July 9th, uh, there'll be no more uh, messages, uh, private messages within uh, YouTube. The uh, they're getting rid of that service, which they might as well because it was always horrible, it was unreliable, and to be honest, quite pointless. That's the whole reason why we've always said for Twitter. For instance, like in there, it would be awful if so we had somebody on tonight and we were sending them the link to join us through there because you'd never know if they get it or not or how long the delay would be. So that's um, that's that's a change. But really, like I say, it's not going to be life altering for many people. I don't think. Panic be posted already there. Uh, so oh my goodness, guys, you're too fast. Oh. Uh, and uh, where? What was, have you done a segment where you visit some channels from your audience live and give some tips on how to improve the channel? Yes, we actually did it. Uh, and we are always open. Uh, we can do for that it. tonight. We can do that tonight yeah. if anybody's up to it. Uh, we, it's not a, like a hard on critique. No, and no. Uh, definitely it's not the only solution. It's just our exactly. own opinion. Uh, but if anybody of you would like to do that, definitely uh, yep. uh, with your permission, sharing your. Um, uh, your channel and uh, some of your videos. We could definitely do that today. I love it. There we so go. So Ben, uh, yeah, we'll do that right after this. It because oh. uh, you wanted yours. Uh, yeah, we can start with that right after we're done uh, looking at some selfies and that. We can go into that. That's a great idea. Okay, so uh, we gotta figure out how how they can say it's uh, pick me or something like that. I'll take a go. So Rob wants to be on. I'll I'll write the down people. Okay, because. Uh, so no fighting. Oh. Uh, Just pick something easy for them to say, like Andrew is awesome or something like that. Oh, my know. goodness. Okay, pick me. So I, I did write Rob93, uh, and... Uh, um, there is Craft Beer Pours. They are got their Twitter up and running. I'm so proud of you guys once again. There, we're following okay, you. Okay, good sell life. Uh, ben, are you up since you uh, since you asked? Pick me. Yeah, oh. very good. Thank you. Wrote you down, good sell oh. life. Oh, just close the eye, so. How do you get Twitter? You go on twitter.com, uh, create your profile uh, with your email since you don't have Facebook. Oh. It's and... good, good sell life. You guys are amazing. I'm still fiddling with mine here. <laughs> Jim Apple. Hi. What's the hell? Blue Wrench Selfie. Yeah. What did they hashtag it with? The Good Sell Life? Uh, that's a good question. 
see this is where i suck on this thing <laughs> i really do yeah ben is on so we'll, we'll pick him first since uh, he asked the question blue wrench uh jeff bates uh, was hashtag uh, blue wrench selfie i love it wow love it love it guys so i can just search for it there right I yeah uh, no you just click on it I'll and just... it's gonna yeah just click on it see guys i wasn't lying with twitter i even this is so hashtag blue wrench selfie guys somebody maybe have uh put it on, on just hashtag blue wrench and selfie separately so you get to uh, look for it then too okay doll whip dad well it's up to you <laughs> violet bird hello violet how are you um doll whip dad whip dad okay <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid to do a selfie. I mean, it might break my cell phone camera. Well, I know it's <laughs> oh, so no. weird. It's it's like I'm always shaking like this. My hand is going like that because, and I'm like again, I'm a photographer, but so awful at selfies. Mm. Like you guys rock. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Well, Andrew, uh, we have four people right now. Okay. And if anybody else uh, wants to be on, uh, yep. check their channel. Say, pick me, so I can see it. Uh, so Ben, uh, Rob ninety three, Good Cell Life, and Dolby Dad. So who's first on the list? Ben. Ben. Because since uh, he asked the question. Alrighty then. But if you do say pick me, you consent to showing <laughs> your channel and yeah. some of your videos. I'm gonna get this up here. Uh, and I hate cell phones. Do you know, guys? I just worry about it because, like I say, I don't want to really critique people's stuff too much. I want to more just kind of get you guys out there, get you as known as. Um, if you have questions about that's another thing too if you have questions about something you're dealing with in your site like please let us know yeah as we are having your channel on if yeah. you have uh questions please uh put them <laughs> and D, of course <laughs> <laughs> i love that i love these guys these guys do it right they get in everywhere they can wherever they can get those and that's the way to do it guys perfect Steph. Always... i would love to connect with you there dexter This stuff you're so amazing. Okay. Teeth in. Oh, you go to Twitter, Trish. Yes, perfect. And I just joined your uh, the craft beer pours one, so yeah, yours as well. Please find us and send. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so Benjamin Chavez. Let's go look at the about section. That's always the part I like to start with anybody. <laughs> Good Cell said that you had no problem critiquing my pictures. <laughs> you're so, you're really on fire tonight, aren't thank you? you? <laughs> thank you for thank you for support. Um, oh my God, Almighty! Oh, I gotta disable those updates from Facebook after. There's a good side note. <laughs> um, yeah, so Benjamin, let's see. Welcome to Benjamin Chavez's channel. Ben Chavez's channel is a ch is a channel. Created under the inspiration of fashion bloggers, fragrance reviewers. Daily. See, like this is a nice size right here. It can be a little longer. You don't want to make it too, too long because people, as you know, on the web have no attention span. I don't know. I find this is a really good size. So that's, it's really important and it's so forgotten about. And it really is important because a lot of people, especially now, they're kind of going through power, uh, power joining, I guess you'd call it. Got details here, location. I like when they put the location of the country. I believe that's really important. Uh, anything that's hidden, sometimes stuff is, it feels like they got something else to hide. So I always like up front links are here, your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And Google+, Plus is really important, guys. Nobody uses it, but it's very important to have it because it does help with the algorithm. It helps with search engines to have it, so... Yeah, shoot your comments or our questions, but just yeah. put push studios in front so I don't miss it. Let's see what he has on discussion. See, discussion, 
I, I appreciate it. Some people write, but that's hard to get a lot of times under your channel. That's just one of those ones that it's always an oversight by most people. Um, okay, you got your channels here, and I see, see the way you list them up. You're showing your subscriptions. Okay, that's fine. Some We can't, for the simple reason is we are a business, and it is very tricky. And I'll give you a great example is we might like something that's controversial that could uh, – make a client if they've seen it choose not to go with us and uh it's just the way business works um so we can't show our, we don't share ours but featured channels is good you got some up here that's great guys i'm still figuring out how to do that selfie so that's why i'm not answering i'm here <laughs> and now i'm posting it and then i'm gonna check yours Pl uh playlist 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 you got a lot of videos. You could probably uh, update it yesterday. That's good. Your playlist, you can set them eh, to go by keywords. For instance, ours, all of our live streams, because we use the word live, of course, into them at the time, which now I'm going to have to go back and fix. I just thought of that now. I'm going to have to update that. So you can set your playlist that as soon as you put up a video that has a certain term into it, you can it will automatically add it to a playlist. And you can pick which order you want them uh, sorted into. Playlists are great, and, and you can also, if you can, try to have a couple or where you add in like videos from other people's and yours as well. Like I have one that was, I forget what it was called, our supporters, our peeps or whatever, and it has all you guys' videos, some of the ones from the beginning that's been with us, and then every 10 videos is ours, one of ours. It just helps a lot in the search rankings, and if you can get your friends that you're on here to do it with you as well, and like them put some of their, yours on theirs, and vice versa, mixed with a couple others, it really does. It counts as a search, and pushes it up in the algorithms. Uh, thumbnails. You got some great thumbnails. I like your style into them, and you keep your style the whole way through them, and that's really important. See, I'm using uh, this is part of vidIQ, so it showed me right away. That's what these green numbers in. That's that plugin we've talked a lot about using. Uh, so it showed me right now, like your like to dislike ratio. So you got 97% there. The rest, all these are hundreds, hundreds, 98. So it's in green, so right away you know that you're doing well. So we can hover over it and uh, see you got 108 likes and three dislikes. <laughs> That's amazing. It's actually good to have a dislike here and there because it. Uh, Shows that you're um, you're active with followers. They it, it sounds weird, but it actually is a plus. Arcane Amusement said for channel art enthusiasts, you can sneak files over the Mac six uh, MB at the moment if you use a bitmap image. Oh, that's interesting to know. Hmm. That's a good. Tip. That's really cool. Yeah, I uh, yeah I uh, now I'm it? checking everybody else's. Uh, don't worry, I'm there. Mm. Uh, you see, Benjamin's been pretty consistent. And you can see how his channel uh, art has changed as he went up a little bit, but still, like, um, it's very cool. The color scheme is consistent. Yep. The uh, fonts are, um, I would probably say maybe uh, try to use uh, a little bit more consistency with the fonts. Yeah, because, I mean, if you want people to write up, but, I mean, he's so good on his color is what actually what's is usually hard for people to do. He's done well enough that at least if people follow his channel, they can see, like, some consistency just in yeah, his pastel no, kind sure, of colors. Yeah, for sure, Which is, I'm, I agree with you on that one. But that's a hard thing to do. Like, it's funny. You've actually probably mastered the hardest part of any thumbnail is to get your colors, because you use different images for each one, but your colors are very seamless between all of them. Which, yes. Which is really rare. That's uh so let's see your home here. You got your uploads. These ones are your newest ones, uh, your popular uploads, and your playlist underneath. I don't know. I'd I'd say you're pretty well set. You got your featured channels here on the side. That's great. Good stuff. I don't know. What about the video? Let's take a part one. Take a part of video? <laughs> oh, I don't like I don't like really tearing apart. I don't like going. I was to, joking. Okay, Wasn't I'm just making part. sure. I don't want to uh, get too negative or anything on anybody's stuff. Not that I would. I like Benjamin's stuff. 
Benjamin has just that style and class going with him. So, uh, uh, hello, Amelia and Ashley. Uh, welcome, hey. and Chef Food. Uh, yes, uh, everybody here. Uh, we are doing a hashtag Blue Ranch selfie on Twitter, uh, trying to learn how to do selfie. Awkward or not, everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, uh, we are Tech Talk Tuesday today, uh, and by suggestion uh, by uh, Benjamin, uh, mm -hmm. we are checking uh, our supporters' channels, uh, right. featuring your channel, while uh, giving some suggestions and information about uh, what uh, could be improved or not uh, in a very soft way. I'm just looking here. You know, also, if you have questions, and if you want to be picked, just say, pick me. So I can write you down. Is there? A, did you find out the hashtag everybody's using? Pretty much. Blue Ranch selfie. For now. Okay. Perfect. I'll bring that up. Well, we'll just in between the next one. We'll just look for a second here. River Bend Longbow hey. Outdoors. Hello. How you doing? Let's bring up a couple here. Window there. So there we go. Looking good. Looking good, guys. That's seven seven uh, hearts already. That's great. I gotta give one. Aw, uh, thank you. You're not critiquing this time. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. Very smart. Oh, that's that's really nice. I don't know if it's a selfie though. <laughs> APGH. <laughs> and Trish, of course. <laughs> Trish was cheating. Trish is cheater. Oh my god, you guys are funny. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Tracy. Uh um <laughs> you can put in a comment of the picture, uh hashtag blue ranch selfie, and that would appear then too. Uh, do you have any questions, Ben? Yeah, if there's something we missed or anything like that, please let us know. Uh, like I said, there's not really much to, to tear on your site. You're 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 doing the work. You're I like you how you're always in things like this, and I've seen you do that before. Wherever there's something like launch or that, you have your first one up. Uh, you're like the kid in the class is always putting his hand up first, and I love that. That's the only way to get noticed is just to stay out there and be seen as much as you possibly can. Oh, just I seen just your grandsons and kitties. It's still not the mm -hmm. selfie though, but thank you. Um, uh, yes, Trish D is cheating. Who's next on the list, Tom? Um, we have uh, Rob ninety three. Are you there? Oh. Rob ninety three calling all out. <laughs> Rob ninety three, are you there? <coughs> oh my God. Donnie Shaw, hello. Donnie, hello. you're working. Working, grinding it up. God, you make him sound like he's some sort of stripper or something. <laughs> like grinding it <laughs> off. Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Look at that he wrote. Thank Rob. you. Yeah, Rob is in. So, Joey. <laughs> oh, hey, Joe wants his watch. Well, yeah, we'll always watch your stuff. But... Oh, my. <laughs> you got to say, pick me. You got to follow the rules. Oh, jeez. <laughs> By the way, did you uh, did you submit uh, B roll as well to um, Peter McKinnon? Um, if you guys review my channel, my daughter wants you to watch the caramel frap Starbucks review. Okay, you are on the list after a good sell life. Sure. <laughs> I guess we can watch video. Yeah, I. I You're I kidding. Know. Well, I don't know <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, Rob, Rob ninety three. I like the fish bio. <laughs> I got a kick out of it. Um, yeah, it, if you can, though, like get your bio like about Ben's, like about maybe four lines or so like that. And if you can put the links, if you have other uh, social media, that it really does help. It's Your about page has become a lot more popular in the last couple of months now than it used to be in YouTube. I always thought it was important, but now it's become super important. Uh, so if, I, although I like fish bio, I like that I get I get where it's going. I get a kick out of it. So one big thing, uh, and I can suggest, and and for now it looks like uh, Ben had it all, and and Rob has the one, you know, social media that he has. Although mm -hmm. he should add more, 
people oftentimes don't have it. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, first thing, they don't have it listed on their channel. And then second, they have completely different uh, name on Twitter or Facebook. So there yeah. is no way to find them whatsoever. And it's so bad. Like, how am I supposed to find you guys? Especially with YouTube now getting rid of, not the people, like I say, used it much, but the messaging and that, there's going to be no more connection as of July 9th on that. So it's really, really, really important. There's uh, bottle caps. Bottle caps is barbecuing probably and picking up his strawberries in the backyard so he can send me a picture again. I'm just looking here. Uh, my channel. I got to update the last couple. But I'll just show you. Oh, I think this one should be safe. Let's see. see, this is what we're doing on ours. Um, so when we do our other live streams, when we have everybody's information, like that night was Rob Hoffman, have all his information and his contacts. And we always put this at the end of all of our videos, that they're cinematic or live streams and that. This always goes in our About section with all of our links. Plus... Oh, sorry. So most people watch their YouTube like that. And this is something else we started doing now is putting it in the pinned comment. And it's very important, guys, to have a pinned comment. I can't stress that that's one of the check marks that you'll get with TubeBuddy and that and vidIQ uh, to help raise, uh, uh, where, uh, to help please the analytics. So we have it here. And then when you click on Push Studios, you go to the About section. See, it's not very long. We don't have tons of it there. But there's our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. We don't have our, uh, no, look what I was just talking about. We don't have our Google Plus in this one. No, because uh, uh, Google Plus is used only for the algorithm purposes for us. Uh, mm. I do follow if people have the, uh, have, like, are there. Well, but we used to have it. We have it. Yeah, we used to have it listed there, though. Well, yeah, but it's not one of our active ones. We also no, have I know. Pinterest that we don't have yeah. listed. We also have The Verge that we don't have listed. We have listed, since we are everywhere, we have listed the top active ones. Yeah, but maybe we should be putting them in there. Well, we might I, think about it. I, I, or I could go insane if I should manage uh, some more social uh, accounts. But I'm practicing what I'm preaching. So I'm saying, you see, we all have stuff to work on. There we see that. So that will be something else we're going to have to look at for our channel as well. So Definitely. it's just an example of that as everybody. That's why we're not critiquing and saying, oh, you're doing this wrong, that wrong, and everything. Because there's n nobody is. Look at Casey Neistat. Look at the views he was getting. The guy doesn't didn't even use friggin' hashtags for a long time. I don't even know if he still finally took them on full force or not. It's uh, there's a million variables to everything. I I like your consistency onto it. I've seen your thumbnails before. I know there's a lot of green in here, but it's just because you use. Um, they do recommend using a high res photo instead of a screenshot for your thumbnails because it does work better with the algorithm. But they are cool though. I mean, I it definitely you got what's supposed to be there. If you want to trick it, just uh, your videos that you're uploading, just open them up in like VLC or something like that and just take a screenshot there and uh, put it through. But if you're going to go through that trouble, you might as well come up with a format to um, like ours. We have a template. Uh, as you see, all like our videos all kind of follow a key, like all of our live streams look one way. Uh, our um, Winging It series has another. And it's basically drag and drop. And then our cinematics all have this border. So they're different colors for different things. So whites are cinematics, reds are winging it, and uh, the, the blue ones, the one, the black with the blue writing, this is gold, but this is the ones that have that are still got to be turned changed over. We'll be changing over to this one. And um, but just have something with your logo on to it. You know that you want to have Rob93 on top, you know, whatever you like and you know you don't have to turn them, every one of them into a full artistic event but it will help raise you with the um with the uh, vid iq god so let's check one there uh let's take this one just gonna leave the music off so here's where we can check it see see okay you that that one was a high-res thumbnail so excellent okay Info cards or end screen, you got to pick one or the other. There, 
and uh, liked on Facebook. You're actually in pretty good shape here on that part. You got four out of 20, which is still in the red, but you're up there. It's better than a lot, which have one and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I love watching your fish, man, by the way. You get these great, I don't know how you do it. I've seen a lot of the aquarium ones, but you get these amazing shots into them. Look at that. Super. It's like I feel like I'm peering right at the tank all the time when you shoot. That's what I find so cool. But very nice, though. They're crazy ass bright. Like, that's sort of like you're, you got so much like the green thing going on. They definitely stick out a lot. Good job. Any last things, hon? Um, no, I, I think it's good. Probably, I think uh, the algorithm wise, uh, thumbnails, uh, you know, um, just because YouTube likes the writing on it, mm -hmm. uh, it likes a picture that is recognizable uh, because it uses a face detection. Yeah. And uh, it also likes some kind of fonts. Like, I'll show you an example that we, and like I said, I always go to the big guys because they spent all the money to do the research. And, uh, I'm subscribed to him, but not here. But Linus Tech Tips, he's got six months. See how they do their thumbnails? And like he said one time in his honest answers party, he goes, do you think I like making all kinds of weird gawky faces in the camera? Do you think I want my kids to grow up and see their father looking like that? But that's what sells. That's, that's what their algorithm goes for. Big shots, lots of faces into it. But since you're using fish, then you really want to rely more like having that uh, type on the thumbnails. But very good though. Well done. Well done, sir. Bottle cap. The no, bottle caps is snoring. They're gonna take apart yours again. We, no, we gotta we gotta show bottle caps or otherwise not gonna be happy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go make bottle caps happy. Because we I know when he does that, he wants to have his shown in the bright lights. So without further ado, dun da dun 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 dun. Bottle caps. Bottle caps. I like the way, by the way, I watched your video today, and I do like you putting your bottle cap logo in the sun. That was a cool a cool idea. Um, I'll check his about. Now, you see, <laughs> we did this the last time when we talked about you not having anything in your about section. And where is your Twitter? Yes. I asked you yesterday. Yeah, uh, uh, ball caps mm. went and created Twitter account, and then now I can't find it anymore. Uh, Millie says we need improvement on our thumbnails and trying to learn as time moves. Uh, and Panic D like the idea about the hashtag blue wrench selfie. No, <laughs> it, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> uh, everybody <laughs> learns together. I know ball caps wasn't in the list, but since he likes to stand out in the crowd. <laughs> Cheers to a Joey. Uh, mm. Listening to Amy Winehouse. Um, with Polly and uh, having some drinks. So I'd like everybody in the discussion to say, hey, bottle caps, update your about section. Yes. Praise to bottle caps, Donnie <laughs> Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> bottle caps. Yeah, I know you told me that, but you should create uh, another one anyway. Yes. Uh, and then add it to your channel description so it shows up as a link. That's right. And you should have your Facebook one in there and stuff like that. Your playlists are good. You do a good job on your playlist. That you have down. And uh, I like the way you've done them by seasons and stuff like that. That is really good. You're actually really doing well on that. 244, four, uh, go and follow us. If you just, uh, uh, there is our Twitter. And I'll follow you back. And hey, bottle caps, update how about section, LOL. <laughs> You're about. Thank you. <laughs> We gotta get that through to them. Your Shall Facebook we? link is there. Where? Where? There's nothing in your There's about section. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. There it is, right for everyone. It should be everywhere. It should be on your about section. It should be on the edge of your banner and preferably in your description of your video. Yeah. So Use everything that is out there is there to be used. Not yep. as an option. <laughs> That's right. Use it. 
that's what we're saying because like i say we have it in our about section we have uh every video has it twice because it's a pinned comment plus it's in the about section as well you can never push your uh, other medias enough yeah, that's what gets you noticed that's what uh, google and them like to see that's what youtube likes to see of course they're connected that's what they're looking for is those kind of connections <laughs> throttle caps should be on your name <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, ball caps. Hashtag update about Bud. Mm. <laughs> uh, Arcane. Ball caps would be so kind as to update your about section at your leisure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and Sticky Buds, you're right. Go to so many channels where their homepage says no recent activity. Make sure you set up mm. your channel properly. Yes, lots of people forget about that. And oftentimes you could actually search for the videos because first it looks like there are no videos and then you're going to go and search for them. So in your creator's uh, tab or, or app or whatever you're using for that, uh, go to um, customize channel section and put up something there like the latest uploads or the most popular videos. If you don't want to do all of it, which you should, but at least something so it doesn't come up uh, as empty. Also, you can preview uh, as a first time user and as a return user so you can actually customize experience for different types of users that come to watch and another thing too usually i don't like how do i say this? i don't like the way you used your logo but for some reason you found a way to pull it off that it actually works and i think you're one of the first people i've ever said that to because i don't like random but i like the way you actually play with yours yeah, I like to play uh, yeah. around too because see, there's a lots of fun in it. It yeah. plays around with it, having it as a move. Because usually know? that comes off so cheesy, and and whether you meant to or you stumbled into it, I don't know what to say about it. But however you did it, you actually were one of the rare people to pull this off. So ball caps, of course. I, you're always talking like you're 85. Yeah, I know. And I then think I do a pretty them, good it? job for 56 year old man that doesn't know anything about tech. What have we been just saying to him? We've been just saying he's doing a pretty good job. We've been just literally saying that for like the last five minutes. Yeah. I know. I think you know pretty well yeah. about tech. You have a drone. You fly drones for money. <laughs> so I would say that's not an old man's dog there. Yeah. Hollywood. Hi, Polly. Hey. Hello. You decided to join us too? Is it hard to watch a Joey? <laughs> 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 oh. Let's see who also got the selfie side here. Ball caps is sexy beast. <laughs> That's right. Um, Donnie Shaw wants his channel ripped. Okay. Uh, writing you down. There. Do we not have any new ones? Um. Well, I don't know. You're going to update for latest and then uh, I don't Go know. Go ahead. Who's... Do what you got to do with that. See bottle caps? I was telling you the same thing. There. There. Okay. And then. All righty. Yeah. And, uh, and I think Trish probably just sent it to me. Or uh, somebody just sent it. Tracy Beth's selfie challenge. Yeah. Uh, going to notifications. Notifications. Yeah. Okay. And there, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. that was good. That was really good. Really nice job. Yes. Dolby Dad likes the logo usage for bottle caps. It's fun. Uh, and bottle caps have been playing video games since '80s, so it's pretty easy. Is that is flying a drone like playing a video game? Mm -hmm um cryptic cowboy hi hi hey i got your latest video today they did another conspiracy with uh tim hortons i was watching they solved another case oh. now add moderator welcome polly for those who don't know polly is the other half of joey that's right welcome uh so treat her well and the camera did not break. Yes, uh -huh. it didn't. Yeah, by the way, uh, Joey, uh, Polly, we were doing <laughs> hashtag Blue Red selfie challenge on Twitter uh, because we all are learning how to make a <laughs> selfie. Uh, so uh, we did the selfie and posted that on Twitter right now. Hashtag Blue Red selfie. Okay, so uh, Steph Opel, uh, you said you made a Twitter account. Can you follow us, please? Um, 
Okay, next one is um, Good Cell Life. Okay. Good Cell Life, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> Good Cell Life, are you there? Oh, cool. Well, check it out. Where are they? Why am I not playing? Good cell. Yes, they're in. They're in? Excellent. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Excellent. All righty. All righty, folks. Just look. Loading up here. Um, Stephen, hi. I have a Twitter, but I'm still not sure how it works. Maybe you could do that after and just kind of go through Twitter, just like go on this one and just kind of do a little bit of a yeah, introduction. Yeah, or, 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 or next week. We'll see how the time goes. Let's go right to the about section. One of memories making you laugh a little along the way. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my kids' YouTube channels. You can have links in there to the channels. It's good. You could thicken it a little more up, maybe add another two, three lines and put in the full links. And you got your Twitter here. So see, that's good. Oh. Oh, you gotta update your Twitter, I think. Check your yeah, check your links so they're yeah. not broken. But that's okay. You got stuff down, so that's just maintenance and everybody goes through that. So that you that part. Yeah, I would add a little more in here. Maybe, like I say, usually, like I say, it's about three to four lines. It's a like a think of like a preface for a book or something like that. But you got some stuff here. That's it's good to have something in that. So, and yeah, just do your links. Uh, you guys also have Facebook, right? Uh, good Cell Life. Uh, if you, if I remember right, if you do put that in as well, it's good to have. The more, the merrier. And like Xenia said, if you can, try to keep your names the same. Um, like all of our stuff, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, everything is all at Pusha Studios, Pusha Studios, Pusha Studios. Uh, so it's easier for people to find. It just makes it easier for you as well. And for the people that want to follow you. Wow, you, you got a good, you got a couple. This is pretty good. Seven comments on your discussion. You're luckier than most people to have that. That's good. Yeah, interesting that YouTube is taking off the newly updated Messenger and still keeping this one yeah. that nobody really uses. Exactly. Uh, very not understandable. It's it's pretty much it's it's typical YouTube. Yeah, that's what that's why Twitter is it's so fundamental for this right now because it's the fastest way to message with most people and keep in touch. Because don't wait for YouTube to give you something of the equivalent. Yes, Ben, we should all be following each other in all social media platforms. Exactly. Right. When I go to follow the, the chat, that's why I was talking about the importance of having your links in the uh, channel about section and, and the um, banner uh, on the corner. Because when I go to, when we go to follow the channel, I always click on all of those links as well and yep. follow them there. So because we have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have Facebook and a few other ones, less used, but still there. If they are there, we follow them. Everybody if they're wins not from there, it. it's hard to find. Yep. I do find sometimes uh, randomly uh, people that I know have channels, uh, but they're not connected. So I like uh, you got lots of your playlists going here, lots of subcategories and something like that. That's good. You can never have, in my opinion, enough playlists. And uh, you did well with this. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to have 55 in all of them. It's good. To, like, you have your bigger ones, your vlogs, 2017 vlogs. Uh, that's great. And then all these other sub ones. Best friend. Are you just saying hi from your dinner or are you back already, Steph? Um, Anything here, hon, before I move on? Um, no, I, 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 I think it's good. Yep. I think so, too. All his live streams, his vlogs, his food vlogs, no his favorite videos. I think that's. Uh, I think you did a good job in that one. Like I say, guys, if you can try and find some people around you, find your main supporters and make some playlists with them, and then put yours in every so often is a good thing too. It helps keep you in the rounds because 
that's a way for some people that are watching their videos they'll find your playlist watch some and then come to you as well we have a video in their live stream playlist yeah let me guess the one that you were on <laughs> <laughs> We love that. Thank you that's so much. So cool. Oh, you're back from the dinner. Welcome oh, that's back. Great. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Joey, how many wine glasses we have had? <laughs> Holly, what's going on there with Joey lately? <laughs> <laughs> we need some one on one talk or two on two talk. Um, so the I, uh, now, rough and tumble or or soft and fuzzy i i really would suggest a little more uh thumbnail uh punch because um you like you jump it out yeah you see like you were here where you got your we got it you would want some more contra like this here here look at this one a black hole like this thing is super eye-catching and it just shows what you can do these ones are great but they just need some more to them like some higher contrast and some writing that's really contrasted off from these. So if you, have, I don't, and you got to watch with that. Try to avoid too much. Like some people like to do, like putting uh, a glow around their words or uh, stuff like that. Try to stay away. The try to find or uh, I don't know. You got some good things here. You just need like. You need some big punchy text on top of some of these that really, really stand out, like high, high contrast, but the same color. Like maybe here, like 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 a, a red or something or yellow, like that. Or yellow, something that would yellow come is a good up. color. Yeah, you know, you don't have to rebuild them all. And that's from us. Look at how I'm rebuilding our other ones. So I mean, I've rebuilt our thumbnails. Uh, this is the first time doing the live stream ones. I think no. I did part of it before, but the cinematic ones, I think I did four times so far, you know, as things change and finding new ways that I want to make them stand out better. And they're still not always, I'm happy with what I got. It's just a growing pro process. You got some great stuff here. Yeah. Just some real punch onto them. They kind of like when people go through and search and one of yours comes up, you want them to stand out from the rest and your picture, like, here's a great example. This one, you just want to bring up the contrast into it. Some, Let's go take a look at one of the newer ones. Like you see, here's a great example. And I remember seeing this one today. I was watching uh, last night when I watched the water slide one. And this one was a, like, this is cool too. Just your your purple here is just a bit hard to see. But I like what you did with it. Same as the purple here. Um, you just need some, you want to use a lot more contrast than you would use in a picture when it comes to your thumbnails. Because as you can see they're nowhere near the same size like you bring on like you see here you could even leave off the, the 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 black rim and just make it a thicker font bring on and then uh the storm you know you can maybe do in white and a bit thinner of a font and it, it will punch right off the page because it just depends on what's in uh, season we'll call it for them the, the trends change but Maybe uh, we did uh, do a little uh, fast, funny tutorial on Canvas, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe we'll do kind of the same style next week where uh, some can volunteer that I want a thumbnail or I want a banner. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I can do a five minute banner or a thumbnail on Canvas yep. uh, for you guys. And it would be the tutorial at the same time. Because, I mean, you guys got awesome content, like all the energy, like the, the fire here and stuff like that. It's all great stuff. It's just... And actually, this is good, too. I liked where you did this here, this let's go. Now, just the camping has got to be bigger and a different color even, maybe yellow or something like that with the white because you have the orange and everything with the fire already just so it punches right off the page. But you're you're it's just tweaking now. Not uh... Yeah, use contrast colors, and that would... Uh, if, if you're not sure, use uh, um, Google Color Wheel and yes. uh, contrast colors and uh, use that as a, a tip for you uh, what color tones to use to pop it out so like this picture caught my eye today i actually watched this video and uh right here is something that i a great example that i like that picture and if you just add a bit more of the darks into it it'll make it stand up and then you really hit it with the like maybe the whites going across here make your new bigger you're but I mean, you've got pretty much everything there. Uh, it's just tweaking. 
I, I don't know how. Oh my God, I would be so dead after trying that. Uh, 244, uh, did you hashtag it with Blue Run Safi? Because I think I can't find it. And I also can't find your channel if I just search for 244 Toy Man. So uh, follow us if you haven't. UP4204, uh, hello and welcome. UP4204 updated his logo today from a fuzzy zoom in to an actual high res. So, Excellent. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. On Perfect. That. And they like the idea about doing the kind of the same thing, but with canvas. Um, uh, so we'll do that definitely. Because, like I say, it's not, this is not crapping on anybody. We don't do that kind of stuff here. I mean, this is, and we don't have all the answers. And like I said, we've had to redo ours a couple of times. <clears throat> We're watching a lot of times what the bigger ones are doing, how they do things. Uh, we look for new updates that people find are trending for it. And it is a lot of work to go back and as you can see like i did all last night up the whole night doing the thumbnails after the live stream started about 12 30 and was doing it till six this morning and uh, i'm still not really a done. good question uh would these reviews be somewhat different if you weren't using night mode and do you recommend tailoring aesthetics for night mode no no because white or black it's still a contrast color but so. a very very good question though that's a good you got a good eye there for that um it's the same rules apply same rules see like he's got everything there except for linked on facebook liked on facebook i mean excellent good job you got all your tags are in there for night mode though and as as a photographer i can tell you that any picture is going to look better on the black uh, yeah. background like uh, if you want to post as a picture black always brings it out but as for the way to you uh, to do it it doesn't matter uh because the same rules apply. Good stuff. Very good stuff. And yes, UP, you, you did say on Twitter, but I did notice mm. it on Twitter. So. <laughs> and he's doing good. He's got 10 out of 20 suggested videos. Yes, that's, that's really very good. good. That's very good. Well, pinned comments. And, and tags appear eight times. That's yeah. good. You're almost in the green, which is fine. It's hard to be always in the green. So you can't uh, take that one to the heart. You do your best you can. And you're good in that area. So good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay. Is he uh, is he still there? I, I yeah, yeah, they're chat. all still there. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Next one. What we now we. The have only thing I don't like about stuff. reviewing sites is I don't want anybody to be in so because we're not doing it for that. There's nothing. I'm always worried that we're going to say something that come off the wrong way. No, and that's why it was on the voluntary basis. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Good. I forgot Chris up to, uh, updated my coffee. See, we talk like we're on freaking YouTube all Can the you time. Can you update my stuff. coffee, please? <laughs> That's unbelievable. I talked to my mother and it's like, cheers, mom. Cheers and thanks for watching. You know, like I talk. Like... <laughs> God, it's awful. Keep creating, mom. <laughs> yeah, keep creating, mom. <laughs> cheers and keep creating. Oh, my God. And my... I have said that before to my sister, I know, on the phone. <laughs> okay, a doll whip dad? Doll whip dad, are you in the house? All calling. You have emotional problems. <laughs> Smart um, ass. Doll whip dad. Are you there? Doll whip dad. And you you did do good. Uh, you, and I mean that. So, <laughs> Cryptic Cowboy, we won the war about 420 equals July 1st in Canada. Yeah, well, it, it, it's still not official, though. And some provinces are going to be only in September, October even. Mm. And some provinces like Manitoba are still uh, banning the uh, growing. Yeah. So it's going to be very adjusted all across the board. Uh, ATJH Travel took the number, okay? <laughs> Pick me was a sentence, but fine. Uh, you guys want to be different? Uh, okay, doll with dad, are you there? If you're not there, then we are gonna go to the next one yep. and wait for you to come back uh yes terrell it's going great uh it's been so much fun tonight uh four plants going <laughs> <in> the ground <laughs> he's so amazing <laughs> <laughs> you haven't checked out Crypto Cowboy, guys. You gotta. I like his style of humor. He's got. You guys are almost like a spinoff from the Trailer Park Boys a little bit. Like I love the. I I, I uh, it's fun. He's got a really cool channel. It's very quirky. I like it. Bottle caps. It does and it doesn't. It's not a blanketed statement there. 
Night, guys. You take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for coming. Panic D, you're next one. If Go with Dad is not appearing. Oh, he's oh, here. He is, so you have to wait to turn. There we go. Uh, yes, Panic D, you're after this one. So Doll Whip Dad is now, right. and then it's uh, Panic D. Well, and Dexter are. can get ready as well. <laughs> Dexter Tang, I like. I, uh... Donnie Shaw coming up, and ATJ8 Travels as well. Okay, okay. And please tell me what you think. Don't hold back. You will not hurt my feelings, Doll Whip Dad says. <laughs> no, I know. I just seen some of these before and people go so overboard us like none of us have like a million subscribers so it's not no like no it's there. just the personal information yeah. sharing what you, we know so far if you guys have other suggestions in the chat go ahead uh, we're not experts here we're just you know it's always good to have uh, lots of heads <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'll throw that in there we go <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like I like I like your description. I like your description. That's you've covered your bases. It's and got a little bit of fun into it and stuff like that, which is great. Starts off people. That's what it is. It's an introduction to your channel. And I think you summed up pretty. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Yeah. There you go, guys. That's why I always go through lists when because we all kind of watch each other so anytime you comment on somebody's video always scroll down the list and see if there's somebody you haven't heard from in a while there you go keep an eye on to it custom cards hello hello uh too bad about your internet yeah and yeah. today we're on more visual uh term we're kind of by ben's suggestion uh we're on voluntary basis mm -hmm. <laughs> checking out people's channels and seeing uh, uh what we can help with so i like chat can help that you with. have your links here but also make sure you get them down here in your details add them in so they're live links so they can be clicked on right away definitely that's the biggest thing because people are lazy by notion and even though you just have to go do this and you'll go most people don't even want to do it and they just don't bother so set it up for them that there's no way they can get away from it because i'm like what we do is we find a new channel we're going to click on here and we're just going to click and add click and join click and join click and join click and join yeah and yeah. also too uh, if somebody is using it on the phone yes. it's so much harder to copy paste the, that's, this thing that's so if it's point. not a live link nobody's gonna yeah. go check it but that's just a little detail but that i would definitely fix as soon because as possible because bottle caps today is tuesday tech talk and it's us and you in the chat <laughs> except for you <laughs> Maybe when you decide to come on, you can be on Tuesday Tech Talk. We're ready to bring you on anytime. Anytime we'll bring you on. Tuesday Tech Talk is the only day in six days in a row <laughs> when we don't have a guest. And you have to listen to us. You got your subscriptions. You've featured a couple. You can, uh, that's well, good. your own guys' featured yeah. channels. That's amazing. I love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very smart. Yeah. So uh, did the banner had social uh, licks in it? I don't think so. Sorry. Did the banner has um, social links? What are you talking about? Huh? The banner here, here yeah. it doesn't have social links. No. In it. So that was my question. Okay. So that should have it in. Yeah, read the title, ball caps. Exactly. <laughs> there are another one that broke them up good. Lots of playlists. Look at that. And that's okay. That's nothing wrong with them. Like I say, even if you have two of them in. <clears throat> that won't hurt you whatsoever that's a good way to do it the more the merrier put them in there and we're in con i like that liked videos see mm -hmm. the good cell life um my uh motto uh told by a very smart person is kill with kindness but then at some point is uh is treat the way you were treated so that's <laughs> that's what the mix of two there with bottle caps <laughs> Oh. oh gee. Custom cards will have a video up tomorrow. New welcome. Oh wow. I have lost count. Your thumbnails are they're they're good. Uh font's a little hard to read onto them. Uh once again, it's kind of a bit like sometimes. Like here would be a great example. See, it's at that part makes it harder to read. That's where I would go with a more punch of punch font. Or even here, see, use a punchier font. 
this is where I would just take your picture. You go into Photoshop and just up the level or whichever program you use and just like up the levels, bling up those blacks and that so that white pops out more. Maybe then even look at changing a color on that to it, like something that it's good to have consistency in your uh, thumbnails because people will look at that. Just think when you're looking down, if you have your favorite YouTuber and you're watching one of their videos, not every one of the videos and the suggestions down below is going to be from them. But it's great when you can look down and know right away, oh, yeah, I know this is, uh, who do you call it, this guy's or that guy's. You, just without even reading them, you can tell it's theirs. It's just to kind of get some symmetry between all of them. Uh, Cryptic, uh, put in some links if you want uh, for the free sites updating the thumbnail. Excellent. That's great. I love when you guys are doing that. See, everybody's pulling together resources here. And uh, it was a good suggestion from Sticky Buds, and that's so right. Uh, make a major playlist for all of your videos. Yep. We have one that's called See Em All, and that's the one that everything goes into. It takes every video that's put up. And then another one for lives, and then another one for the winging it's, and then another one for those. But, yeah, definitely have one with all of them because people do watch them. They really... Actually, our see them all has got the most views out of any of our playlists. Yeah. The word, the bird is a word. Yes. yes. Bottle caps. <laughs> Violet is here. Uh, she was here earlier. You just didn't notice. And uh, Crypt, uh, Cryptic Cowboy is making <coughs> a link for free thumbnail update. Thank you. That's uh, so we'll cool. save that too. And Ian Butcher is in. Hey, Ian. Um, I, yeah. I was just wondering how you were doing. So good to have you here. I was just thinking about you two days ago. I see you on Facebook. Suggestion uh, about the thumbnails talking about too. Uh, try and uh, compare your thumbnail with like two, three other thumbnails, mm -hmm. random thumbnails, and see if your pops out. Yep. Because you want it, you know, there is like 10 videos suggested or 15 on the side. You want yours to be popping out. Like, uh, like a, when I showed with Linus a while ago, like Linus Tech Tips, you know, the faces and that and everything else. Uh, you've got lots of faces, which is great. That works great with the algorithm. Lots of that. Now you just need that punch. Hello, Hosier. Hey. And thank you, Cryptic, for the links. Very great. Uh, that's very great resources. Thank you so much, guys. So uh, if you were looking for making thumbnails, uh, free thumbnails without download, uh, trailer channels um, for channels. I like how you did this on your home page. I like it. So you got your popular uploads and then you have your Disney pins who are working good for you. Those are the ones you put up there. And then you have your creative playlist underneath. So that's good. You got a good mix of everything. No, it's, like I say, it's just, uh, it's hard. Whenever you do a thumbnail, always remember that you're it's, it's going to be small. That's the hardest part to remember with it. It's tricky. But the only what I do when I'm working on them is when I'm building a template, when I think I've got what I want, I zoom it out to about roughly the size it's going to be. And even there is not a true version of it because it's got nothing else around it. You know, it's usually black or gray background. And then I'll upload one and then see how it looks in the mix with everything else. It's a trial and error. And then uh, they, they're like uh, plants. You can't just let them sit. They're going to take a work and go back and changing things um and panic D, yes that's right if you create that all playlist you have control over the order of it if yeah. you just leave it as the upload uh you know um automatic one then yes youtube is the one that creates um the sequence of it so you probably want to have your own control over the sequence if you want to change it up you know uh to maybe have your um less successful so to say videos on top maybe to get more more views on them like play around with that it's better to have it all the, uh, that way it's, it's 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 a good very good suggestion and yes uh, uh, their all playlist is embedded on their website that's right if you have a blog or a website uh, that's a good idea too plus it gives uh, a good um, uh, seo for website and a good algorithm for youtube as well so if you have a website, do that. Playlists are so annoying to edit in YouTube. And I'm hoping once the beta comes fully through that they're going to come up with a better way of doing it. I was clicking too quickly. And I think I... T-Strog, you started a Twitter. Oh, welcome. Uh, search for at Pusha Studios and just click follow. 
And then if you want to post something, you got to click a, a feather on the uh, right bottom. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Yeah, and cryptic, lots of people use it for fun, exactly. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, too. And bottle caps, your uh, strawberries and Cool Whip. Extra Cool Whip this time. I hope we're not crashing out. Cryptic. I just have a beer and smoke this or that and pop, <laughs> I make a win. <laughs> <laughs> You're still sharing the screen. I know I'm sharing the screen. Oh, okay. It was freezing up on me. That's why. I don't know why tonight it's doing that. It's uh, acting very weird, but we we're hoping because there was a virus going around lately that it hits your router, and we were hoping that wasn't the problem. I'm just looking for one of the playlists. Uh, Here's our playlist, and here's where you edit them. And let's see. Let's check the edit playlist. So this is our playlist for see them all. And of course, you got to edit, 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 edit. So you see, this one here is done good. It's six hundred eighty-six views, and that's once again all of them there. So here is your playlist, and you click on playlist settings. And here's where you can set some of your stuff, you know, if you want to public, uh, the ordering, the date published oldest, uh, added newest, most popular, what order you'd like, uh, auto add. So we put Pusha Studios in all of our titles. So that's why I have it sorted by tag. So in our tags, there's always Pusha Studios there. So it automatically is adding them as they come. And you can keep adding rules to them. So you can have the title contain, say, uh, live. Well, then all the lives will go in there. Uh, or if it's in the description. And then you don't even have to do the work. It's just adding to it automatically as it goes. So, Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you could drag. I'll, I'll go back to that for a second. I don't want to play with it too much because I already have this one set up. But if you want to even do them manually, like you can just grab here, click, and you could drag it. Oh, sorry. Of course. But yeah, I don't want to mess up our playlist. That's so why I don't want to play with that one too much. But you can move them. Sorry, you got to grab on this side. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I are here. No, yeah. Sorry, the dots. I haven't done it in a couple of days. It's one of those things you do about once every couple of weeks. So you, I got to do frig with it when I get here. Yeah, so sorry. There where you get your plus sign, your four arrows. There's where you click and drag, and then you can drag this video wherever you want. See? So. Anything else about playlists? Mm, no, that, uh, the only thing that I already repeated that uh, you can uh, tailor them to if you notice that some videos uh, gets less views um, then just bring them up more and uh, if you want to share your video with somebody it's better if you share it uh, share the link taken from the playlist because that way it will uh, automatically play uh, the rest of the videos yes. too for example if, if people have autoplay on you know they watch your video and then go oh, do something else or forget or they just want to see something else it's already there that's a very good point actually so yeah uh, share it from your playlist so yeah the, once again guys uh playlists are important and you see ours are broken up the same way as you've seen with some of them we have city limits these are just trains living life but also the big ones are important as well and the see them all like has been our best one so far. It's uh, there it is. That's been our best performer. You see, it's been updated today. I didn't do that. It's just because the new videos that are coming out for the live streams go there automatically. So that shows that it's working. Same as uh, the live stream ones. They're going up. They're being updated automatically as well. 
Okay, so in the end, all of that, very good. Uh, they want to, us to watch the Starbucks caramel. Oh, in this, uh, yeah, the kid, yeah, the kid wants to watch the Starbucks caramel. Review. Oh, yeah, I was okay. I had I clicked on it, I will bring it back up. What is it called? A ultra caramel cappuccino with extra caramel. So, there's a story here. So, wifey wanted to go shopping, I didn't want to go, she wanted to go to Starbucks. So, we get in line, she orders her thing. I'm like, that sounds good. So, I'll try the ultra caramel cappuccino. But apparently, the lady thought I said. Ultra with <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty exciting. I feel like that's scroll now. It's like um so I like that in the corner. <laughs> Love it. So it filled the whole aisle. It was bad. If you're wondering if you need extra caramel for the ultra caramel frappuccino. You do not. It's like you ever have one of those McDonald's Sundays caramel style and at the end there's some caramel and you stick your finger in there and you it's like the whole drink. I am like mixing my drinks. Like this is a problem on piano, but I mix it. Ethan is drinking straight up caramel, and he's enjoying it. <laughs> he is. So. <laughs> so I don't recommend you do this, but you might. Oh, and and and. Pop-ups. I like that you're putting stuff in there. For watching I've our videos, caramel. for liking, for sharing, and of course for subscribing, we want to say thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I like caramel now. <laughs> Thanks to you, girl. <laughs> I want caramel. That was cool, though. And I like, uh, <laughs> yeah, there was. I thought it was, <laughs> and I like to thank you. I like how you ended off with the the shot of this the the, the parking thing. That's cool. That's really, it's the little things that go a long way, guys. And that's a great example of it. Good job. Excellent stuff. Uh, that's great. Uh, yep. Sticky Buds. Yeah, I'll open it up on the tab to watch it later. There you go. It's mm -hmm. there, so I don't forget it. APJA Travel said that they broke their screen. Wow. Uh, so I don't know how it happened. I don't know what happened. Okay, next one in the row. Patiently waiting. Panic D. Da -da -da -da. Panic D. Da -da -da. Panic D. Dexter and Donnie Shaw and APGH following afterwards. Yeah, I gotta Around. start speeding up. I'm just going too slow on this. <laughs> I'm realizing. Uh, I know. I just, I feel so weird. Uh, reviewing people's stuff. Half color, half black and white. Didn't you have it for a while now? <laughs> uh, you might have to take it to, to fix. Uh, well, yeah, let's start at the, let's go to the about. I mean, you guys are, you know. You, you have been working on your yeah. channel pretty uh, hard. You have changed your name uh, recently to make it more descriptive of mm -hmm. what you guys do. Uh, that was great because it's much more understandable and clickable. Yep. Everything's in here. All your links. They're active. Do we tell the kiddo that now, thanks to her, I want caramel. Like, I'm <laughs> such a sweet tooth that if I see something like that, like, I'm, like, drooling. So, thank you. <laughs> It, it does. Um, I know. Great, I, I know. As soon as I seen caramel, I know Xenia is going to be. Yeah, talking I know. About. I like. I, I. Oh my god! No, I have taste in my mouth. Caramel, cappuccino. Love that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you guys have been working on that pretty well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Like with you guys, it's uh, we got a couple here in the discussion, so that's good. You know, your featured channels, stuff like that, subscriptions. So they have all their links in the about section, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and in the banner as well the banner yes. as well they're all up here which okay. is perfect icons yeah. are there excellent uh what you got a good amount of uh you guys got so many videos you could even probably make a few more playlists uh but you've already got a, a good amount so that's not walking like you guys been doing everything with it you know it's it, that's what's hard about reviewing you guys site is uh the thing like videos you guys have a like some stuff like this is a little bit hard to read sometimes but at the same time too it kind of plays into your theme so it's it's hard to critique that you know i i like what you guys do in general maybe make them a bit darker so mm -hmm. then it pops out and i know what you're doing you yeah. are one to share them on your social media so therefore it, it, yes. you know it's great there the thing is like for example us I do separate ones for Facebook oftentimes and for Twitter and especially for Instagram uh, because it's a different way. Mm -hmm. It looks different way. It's a different sizing. It's a whole bunch of different things. So unfortunately, sometimes you have to make them different. But uh, like most of them are, are, are great. They're, yeah. you know. They're, I know you guys have been banging your heads a bit like with everything. It's just the nature of the beast, you know, like sometimes it's just it's hard with you guys. It's hard because we like what you guys are doing and you know, we get what you are doing when we've talked about it. Like it's not like you got a bunch of bad stuff going on. That's why it's hard to kind of critique it, you know. Like here there's a lot of stuff going on into it, but it still it kind of works. Like, you know, you had a, a consistent uh consistent themes mm -hmm. through all of but it. it's hard to read it because yeah. like again if it's in a row in a vertical row of suggested videos do you want to click on it yeah. what makes you click on it i see room 302 hotel like what make pop out that word that you want people to click on yeah if there is a lot of information because most it. people won't read very much in a thumbnail i know we all try to put sometimes as much as we can so like you know it draws them in but sometimes it has an adverse thing, and we got to use clickbait sometimes. Like, not clickbait saying somebody get killed and nothing happened, but clickbait also means, once again, like the line, I'm just taking a lot of tech tips tonight because I'm using them. Uh, like he said about his face, he doesn't like doing it, but there's a reason why they're, because they had some of their older guys kind of like that were with them for a long time, like kind of rebelling against them for doing it. And then he said, it's not that we're doing it because we want to do it, we're doing it because it's been proven to work. So you could actually remove a lot of this text. And even here, you know, like you see, because every one of them pretty much end with a dot, dot, dot. It's to find a way to put them short, and but everything is seen, very concise, and wanting to get people in, because that's all they're going to pretty much read is the title on your thumbnail and maybe like the first line or so of your description, your title here on you in like the there's two titles basically if you look at it that way one is going to be on your thumbnail i realized since i started saying that it is confusing no i'm laughing at donnie's picture oh, oh. that he sent me privately on twitter oh jeez <laughs> oh, i donnie, will show you guys so afterwards if i can donnie by the way donnie if you go look at our uh, videos i've been updating the live streams and i picked a great one of you today it's so you <laughs> if you get a chance go check it out you know just put sexy pics of rob fresh fishes up for clickbait worked for me 12 yeah. views this week because i like the way you guys put the people like you know if it's not you guys or the people you interviewed and stuff like that into it i like that you put the human connection into it it's uh maybe just find a way to cut back on the text some yeah uh, they were saying that those are from templates that they lost there with no uh, mm. their uh, hard drive crash so it's it, it is a long job but like i say we're doing it too and it's, are the new ones better with the words we uh yeah uh, like this here it's better yeah like this one here look at you see this is the right sizing for everything because you can read it all there's no dot dot dots at the end here this one catches good uh these are really cool like their first thumbnail here i love them but that like the ghost stories and folklore is a bit hard to read but it's kind of cool it looks like an old book like you know i'm torn between it because it's actually i like the look of it mm -hmm. but it's just sometimes hard for thumbnails because people are very fickle they don't want to wait 
<clears throat> people aren't here they're just clicking and watching they don't we wish they would give it that much attention, but unfortunately, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I'm still uh, caught in in about your titles, guys, and and uh, you know we have talked about that before. Um, you know, fi find I call it raisins, but find a raisin in the story and put it in a title. Uh, it's not about uh, you know lying; it's about making it more. Oh wow, you know. Yeah, like, exactly. You want them to just want more because they've just caught it from a glance. It's like, oh wow. Yeah, Lincoln's grave, or I'm just picking something out of the top of my head, and then they'll go in, and then they're going to see more. A lot of times, if people are lazy and they just see it, and it's like next one, next one, because they don't want to even read it. You know, even though it is just a couple of words, it's not the uh, like this one here. This sticks out. You know, it really does. Like, what is so cool about Seely Rose? Put yes. that in a title. What is what is it like? I don't know who Celie Rose is, for example. Yeah. So for somebody who doesn't know what you guys are talking about, what is it that is so haunting? Put that in a title. Another good thing, guys, in general, whatever you're into on YouTube, go and do searches for what you're into and see what comes up first. Mm -hmm. And that's the best way to say, okay, this is what I got to do. Like when we start the live streams, we have the hashtag 050, 051, blah, 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 blah. And that's just because that's what I did. And, of course, who's one of the biggest ones is Jeff Rogan. Uh, uh, Jeff Rogan? Now I'm starting to think. I forget his first name. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. I mean, he's big and he's doing it that way, so it's like, fine. That answers that. That's how we'll number it, you know? Arkin, uh, we actually have right now running both the TV, laptop, and phone. So uh, all of the ones, uh, uh, all, all of the ways of looking at yeah. the thumbnails are right in front of us. And you're right, because people do watch it in TV. You know what I wanted to suggest to you, and I forgot to tell you that last time, Panic D. Uh, because your videos are a lot of times from uh, different locations, I would put in the tags and description um, yes. places that are nearby. Yeah. Not just the place where you went, but the city that is nearby or mm -hmm. the state that is nearby or a landmark that is nearby that would make people look at it that may be looking for that landmark yeah. or for that city, but it would uh, inevitably would, would get to your video as well. Yeah. You know, it would widen up the people who would initially find it. Like my train one for Eastern Ontario. I mean, I really played that in the tags. I put some of the major cities like Kingston, Cornwall. Mm -hmm. uh, 401 highway things like that yeah that people do look for in general yeah like the grave sites yes yeah, the name of the grave site but then which city was it in put the city in the check <coughs> what the hashtag is for the city on twitter uh for example when you uh you know like or or their name that they use maybe they have a youtube channel put that in no but uh, uh, Panic D, I, you have very specific locations in different ways of saying it. What I'm saying is to widen it up, you know, from the specific location to the city to the, you know, bureau or whatever it's called, yeah. uh, to the state, Burrows, you know, yeah, like, county, uh, I don't know. County they use those. Yeah. yeah. And even if it's only one place, like put like uh, uh, 10 most haunted places in Kentucky. I don't know if they, yeah. the gravesite is in Kentucky, you know. Things yep. like that that would widen a little bit up, because I forgot to tell you that last time when we were talking about it. And my computer is up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the tags, yes, because it definitely will help it out. And, yep. and yes, I know people. Some say that tags don't matter. They do. They yep. do matter. It's it's it does matter, um, it, because Google and uh, YouTube works in conjunction of. Uh, algorithmic for tax it does matter but this show is legit oh <laughs> thank you arcane <laughs> we hope so we're very transparent and honest drama free transparent honest zen most of the time <laughs> it's hard with you guys' channel panic d because you guys have amazing content and i know what you guys do you've really gone above and beyond to take the high road but unfortunately now with youtube more than ever you've got to kind of go the old expression kind of got to go slumming a little bit you don't need to sell your soul or anything like that you just gotta like draw people to see it you know and just one-liners do really more than like long long sentence titles 
and pictures with you know shocking first glances is what draws people into it you don't have to overdo it you just got to get people to catch their eyes so like i say just go and search for other just type in not looking for anybody specific just type in you know like haunted house tours haunted uh haunted houses uh ghosts whatever you want and just see how the top ones pop up and you don't have to make your content like them because i know some of them use like the lowest common factor of uh of the uh the lowest common factor of filth <laughs> for lack of a better term when you guys have really put a lot more work into yours but so there's nothing saying you can't use a bit of that in the thumbnail and the description, but once they watch your video, realize that you have a lot more to offer. The whole point is to get people to watch your video. Once they're watching your video, then you can show them what you're really all about. And yes, you you should and you could do top 10. Uh, start your title with 10. If you can put a number in your title, that's great. Uh, the more views you're going to get. Um, and because of the way you're doing your videos, uh, you can actually put like top 10 in the uh, United States to mm -hmm. 10 in each of the states you were into or top exactly. five or top three if you don't have enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, kind of like even go by by uh, by that and put the, it in a separate playlist. And, and then, yes, definitely you can do that and should do that. Two for four. Uh, good night. I hope you followed us on Twitter. I couldn't find you by the name. Uh, so I, I hope I hope you can Who's that? find it. 244 Toy Man. Oh, yes, please. Uh, uh, if you're there, just uh, you want to put up the link for Twitter one more time? Uh, definitely. If you can, Yeah. I'll check it after to follow back. Because uh, I'd like to do that with you uh, in the near future. I'd really like to have you. So there's the link. Just click and follow us and just uh, tweet a message and we'll uh, that way we can find you because I definitely would like to do that in the near future. I think that'd be really interesting. I think a lot of people would like to see like that. Like Celia Rose, for example. She poisoned her family and then she came back to hound them. I don't know. Something like yeah. that, like more. Yeah. And it's not not true. It's true. No. But it's just the way it's written, you know. You know, Celia Rose, the poison still lingers. Ling yeah, the because poison still lingers. The poison still, uh, you know, you need something that will just make people say, God, I got to see what this is about. And then you can show them all of your, your great quality you put into your video. The good thing, when I Googled Silly Rose, uh, the videos that come up for suggestions are from uh, you guys. The first two videos are from you. Yep. And that's great. So congratulations on that. Now you need something that even people who aren't looking for that specifically yeah. will fall into it. And that's where you bring in, like, you know, areas or uh, poison or death, you know, all these things, hauntings. That that will come up as well. Title, uh, definitely. Um, both. Thumbnail, preferably both. Yeah. If you choose one, then title, and you know, yeah. put like a bottle of poison in a in a thumbnail and exactly something around like that. The poison within, you know, something that's really shined there, and then in your title, you know, uh, the lady that uh, brought the poison to Kentucky. I'm just talking because I never even had a chance to look at that part. You know, just something very short like that, a couple of sentences that feel like poison Kentucky or brought the poison Kentucky. What's this about? And then they open it up and then they get to see it. Yeah, you have lots of suggested videos on Google, but that's very good. Yep. One, two, three, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Great. Very good. And so don't tell us people the tags don't work. They do. Oh. Look at that. Cryptic Cowboy, what is the accent from you both? Uh, well, I was born in Quebec, eastern Quebec, the Gatsby Z area, but lived most of my adult life in Montreal. And Xenia is from Latvia. And since you're from Ontario, I don't know why Andrew has an accent. Well, we all have <laughs> accents, even in Canada, even the States, we all do that. Yeah, so. I have accent. I could yeah. also start talking Russian. Yeah. No. <laughs> with a Russian accent. Maybe we could have a gig sometime with them. We could do a collab and be spies. Yeah, I know. We'd love to. Yep. We'd love to. Uh, definitely. Uh, planning to see a Joey through the summer and uh, hopefully a couple yes. other ones as well. The ones who live close nearby. 
So who's next on the list? I'm yes, I love it. Too strong. Steely Rose, Elisa Love. Love it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Punchy, short, uh, exciting. Thank you, Hosier. your back. Oh, uh, excellent. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, next one. Uh, Dexter. Dexter. Mr. Dexter. Mr. Dexter. Dexter, are you in the house, sir? Benefield Bunch. Welcome. Hey, welcome. how are you? Welcome. Good to have you here. We're checking out everybody's sites and just talking and sharing ideas. And uh, next week on Tuesday Tech Talk, uh, let's make your thumbnail. <laughs> oh, excellent, Sticky Buds. I just stepped out into the sun for some lunch. How is it in the future today? She loves that you're down there. Same with the uh, natural journey and that in New Zealand. She thinks it's so amazing that you're seeing it in the future for us. Yeah. Even though when we met, uh, she was in Latvia and I was here and she was seven hours ahead of us. I, I, she still kind of gets off on the whole I idea. Do. <laughs> <laughs> and then it never gets old. Every no, it doesn't. Time natural no. journey yeah. comes in. Yeah, yeah. They now they're yeah. uh, they even without asking, they say the future looks good. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, Panic D. That was a very good, uh, I love that T Strong uh, suggestion for the live stream. Yeah, perfect. Love it. Um, Cold yet sunny. Okay. Interesting. Johnny loves both accents. Oh, Dexter is there. Dexter is there. And I will especially look at your Russian accent, Cryptic Cowboy. Mm -hmm. Aha. <laughs> You dated a girl from Latvia. Wow, where in Australia? Oh, there are some lots of people uh, went there uh, at the beginning of twentieth century, and then in nineties for some reason. Uh, I th my grandma's best friend, her family went, and she eventually went there too to Australia, immigrated. There are a lot of maintenance Latvian girls, but they're not. They're... <laughs> T.Y. speaks talking about emotional disturbances. Uh <laughs> okay, Dexter. Here we go, Dexter. First of all, Dexter has his tags up in the in the banner. I love your banner, by the way. I do. Because even though it's a fishing vlog one, and a lot of them have it, I like how you chose to go with yours in a different route. Some might say you should have more of a fishing one up. You already have, but you have your, uh, your channel thumbnail as that. Uh... I like it though. I don't know. I find it very classy. Um, I would put a little bit more in here. Like I always say, three, four lines, just uh, kind of fill it up a little bit more, a little bit more about yourself. Uh, you have your Facebook and everything. You have your links down here. If you have a hard time uh, deciding what to write in about section, because I know, like I do too, like, you know, when the, the, there's nothing the, harder than writing about yourself. Yeah. Ask somebody else to tell. Uh, about you in two sentences yep. like ask two three people uh, friends or family whatever just tell about me and and put it together and that's your about section i like how you put thanks for dropping by and hashtag stay hooked like that's cool i would keep all that yeah just add a little more into it uh, yeah talking about hashtags if you do use specific hashtags uh put them in the about section and in your videos because it's easier than for example when we do when we do have guests i try to include those hashtags in our tweets then as yep. well so it hits your audience as well uh so definitely it's it's a good idea to have it if you do got all of your subscriptions here let's look at your playlist i don't think I, how many videos do you got see uh I, I like the way they're sorted out. You could probably do even more playlists on your stuff, I'm sure, because I know you put out a lot of videos. Um, and like I showed a while ago in editing the playlist, you can set them and try to find common tags that you can put in each different type ones so they're added automatically and you don't even have to do it manually, which saves a lot of time. You know, you can mix them up. It doesn't mean that the, if the uh, video is in one playlist, it can't be in another one anymore. Yeah, or you can don't... mix them up if there's something else in common that you can we do that lots. them with. Exactly, because you know... people are not watching all your playlists. They're choosing one if they do. Um, like we have train ones that are just in trains, but they also fall sometimes into cityscapes because they're in the city. And uh, I have like live in large is where I put all the large vehicle stuff, like not just trains, but like boats and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Polynesian, hi. 
Hey, how are you? Now you see, I like I I like your thumbnails. I do like these Ooh, here ones. Of, the, those two are amazing. Yeah, he's got a a lot like that, and look at this one. Like I love wow, this that's thumbnail. Like National Geographic. Exactly. There. And you should go back, and I know it's hard with the nighttime ones. That's the only thing that sometimes is a bit harder. Uh, I'm not sure it's how not you can the writing on it. What's, there. What's yeah, it? right there, but there's some kind of writing on it on the night ones where the black is. Yeah. Uh, put font on it. I would just stay away from the narrower font. And I know because uh, from your especially, that's a very common form of writing, which looks very cool, and it makes I, it adds a touristic part to it. You can put a little bit at the bottom if you want to. But for the main part, I'd put it a little thicker. And so that way you can avoid, like, having the black. Uh, oh, my God. I forget what it's called tonight. Oh, my God. It goes around at the. His name. Chromatic aberration. Oh, for the love of God. No. <laughs> the black here around the top. There's just a short name for it. I'm trying to remember what to call it. Uh, the outline. outline. Thank you. I would try to avoid that and have it like a solid font. Not, but. See how the white here is standing out against the black for the text? That's what you would want on here, is something to stand out and find a color that works. Because you do a lot of outside shots, so you could find a decent color that would work for all of them. Because, like, these pictures are, like Xenia said, National Geographic. They're unbelievable. I, I You have some of the nicest artwork for fonts, uh, for uh, thumbnails. Whenever you use the filter on those uh, that we just uh, called out, uh, those four... Yeah. Um, if you use that for all of them, it's oh, gonna yeah. be like, wow, this guy is like oh, National yeah. Geographic Discovery, like these, like amazing. Yep, so good. I, I love them, yeah. And they just put like a writing in the corner, yep, of some kind, and it's just so good. And it would give more consistency too, because you yep. see, you do have different uh, colors in, in some some of them. So if you put that filter on it, it might help to put it all together. Just look like where you wrote trailer here, like you know, pictures are amazing. I'm glad you had volunteer because I want. I love you. Every time I go to your channel, I actually look at your thumbnails. Every time I skim down and go through them. Yeah, like that third one. That's like I mean, you got to submit it to like travel <laughs> picture award or something. That's like I'm talking as photographer. This is really amazing. Beautiful. Like, there's not. Night, Arcane, and thank you yes. for coming and welcome back. It's so great Next to time. have you. <laughs> Erwin is uh, being funny. Doctor is cool because he can see the future. What everyone likes and stuff, then he knows what to do to be cool. I love that. <laughs> I like you have your uploads here, create a playlist. I'm not so crazy about putting subscriptions on the home page, to be honest, but that's just me. Uh, I wouldn't because you don't want to go sending everybody all over the place uh, right away. And you already have like your related channels here. So that would be my only thing. I would find another, uh, I would probably put playlist here instead. Related channels, by the way, uh, um, most of the time it's automatically made, but you know, you can go in and create your own um, suggested, so to say, channels. Um, because, yeah, you don't want people to go click and go away into another one. You're being too nice at that point. <laughs> you know, like it's actually, if there's any crime, it's being too good. It's good to suggest uh, things, but just maybe, yeah, just not yeah. everywhere. <laughs> um, just being. Selfish. But your thumbnails, I will stress it once again. They're like, they're they're bang on. If you like, like Xenia brought up a good point. If you can use that same filter and just get your rest of them all kind of together with them. Yeah, use your pictures for your benefit. They yeah. are so good. Like yeah. put them everywhere, front and center. My God, if you are on Twitter, put them out there. Yeah. Uh, tag in National Geographic. Tag in travel. Anything like that. They're just gonna blow up. They're really good. I, I do believe those thumbnails alone could make you like really yeah. take off just exactly. by them. Definitely. I don't know if you're on Twitter, I don't remember, but if you are, like shoot them out and tag anything possible. See, Patty D, there was a great example of that, and yours wouldn't be the same because you, but that's what we're talking about, like those pigeon analogies, just with a little bit of something onto it, a little bit of text, it just makes it stand out a bit. Like that's what we're talking about. Like you know, the picture draws is drawing us in. Like even if you're not into fishing, yeah, 
it's hard to walk away when you see something like that and it's suggested. It draws your eye. Yeah, I would want to check it just because of yeah. the picture, even though I don't care about fishing. Yeah. I would want to see if they have any more of that inside, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And you guys have a, a very good picture. I mean, Mar Marianne oh, is she's... doing photography, so yeah. definitely. You guys have all the talent in the world, so. Um, Appalachia, welcome. Hey. And um, happy Canadian, welcome. There he is, another past guest. How you doing? Happy uh, Appalachia on the hunt. Good to have you here. Yeah, Sticky Buds, as I said, you can customize that. Uh, like how we have uh, channels that have been guests on our uh, live streams on, on, on our side. It's not suggested channels. It's actual our guests that I update every week. So you can also do that. You can choose your own if you don't like the ones that are there automatically. Here, I want to show something. Uh, uh, Appalachia on the hunt. If you're still here, do you mind if I show your site for a second, your channel? I just seen something you did that I really liked. If I could just show it as an example. I'll uh, just ask you quickly and if, see if you mind. Who is Rob Preach, Preaches, that cryptic cowboy? What's in there everywhere? Oh, that's his uh, psychic. He's the... Uh, He's he's that they, they do their skits with. He's oh, in Scotland. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll go and check that out. Excellent. Oh, by the way, I added your uh Appalachia. I'll be able to watch more after. But here's a great example why I wanted to bring it up, and I hope you can add us as well because I'd love to have you around. I grew up in the Appalachians of Quebec, <laughs> same mountains, different area. Uh, moose hunter, <laughs> <Minnesota>. okay. <laughs> so I gotta share here. Okay. No, it's not too late. Panic thing. See, I just, when he came in, he's a new channel. I just want to check him out quickly. So I go on to his site, okay, on his channel. Look at this bacon deer burger. That caught my eye right away, right away. Even though you see the, the white blends in a little bit, I think it's better that he didn't use the outline around it. Because the outlines are older, and that's still one problem. Sometimes people associate them with, like, the mid-2000s and stuff. But, like, look at this shot. Look at the hands holding the burger, and it says bacon deer burger. Bacon deer burger. Amazing. And that caught my eye right away. I was looking at it. So there's a perfect example of a thumbnail that just draws you in. It's nice, clean editing onto it. I like the skin tones he kept with it and that, but he gave it a little extra punch on the levels. He, he, I've used this expression before. It's the same as anybody knows if they've ever eaten food in a plane. And I know all the jokes, it's all horrible. But they do go to great strides to try and make it good, taste good because at that height, we lose our sense of taste a lot. So the food has more spices. So things are more hotter, more sweeter, whatever. Than they would be on the ground to compensate and you have to do the same with thumbnails when you're doing a thumbnail you can't think the same way as if if you're doing an eight by ten or you're doing a background for a computer you've got to give the levels an extra boost and this was really done here and i love this thumbnail because it's just a great example of that it didn't go all out it doesn't have tons of text it uh, but it has what it needs to draw somebody's interest Bacon, deer, burger. And then bacon, deer, burger, amazing. I love it. So there's, and you know, already he's got me on, my cha on his channel, and then I'm looking down the side, and I mean, I know some of these channels, especially like Murder, Inc. and Cook Goes Hunting. I'm uh, I connected with those guys, as you can see. So this is great. So let's just go look at the About section since we're here. Welcome to the world of Appalachian America. This channel will consist of 100 product reviews. Videos are typically uploaded weekly. How are <coughs> it's good. You know, could have one or two more sentences, maybe a bit more about yourself. Nice to know just a little bit more about you and uh, what you'd like to share. But, I mean, this is great. See, he's got his Facebook, Instagram underneath. Uh, discussions, which almost... As horrible on everybody's channel because we're in, uh, have no control over it and everybody forgets about it. These channels, these subscriptions, got some playlists up here, fishing videos, wild cook gaming. That's 
Very good. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, you see some good thumbnails and I can see where they're coming over time, playing with them and stuff like that. I would go back and replace some of the thumbnails if yeah. you have uh, if you have found that some of uh, the newer ones work better. Uh, go back and redo them. It will rejuvenate your video, and I, sometimes videos take off just by redoing the thumbnails or the titles is enough because then YouTube will think it's a new video, and it will start pushing it again. And that's happened before. And somebody sat on a video that's had like you know 40, 50 likes and uh, watches and. They don't quite understand it. They make a change to the thumbnail, and then all of a sudden, poof, they shoot right up. Uh, you told Donnie that he needs to see a video. What kind of video? Oh, Donnie, uh, go into our videos. The, I redid all the uh, thumbnails for our live streams. Oh, yeah. And I took you. I, uh, yours was one of the ones that I redid over. I'm not finished them yet, but I love the picture of you that I used because I found it one of your videos, and it's so yeah. new. You being guest on our live stream, that's what he was talking about. No, actually, it was one of his. Oh, yeah, when he was alive on ours, yes. Yeah. But the 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 picture I took is from yeah. his video. Yes. Yeah. But this is cool. Like this is this is good. I like this. You know, um, it's hard sometimes with all white. If you notice that your your body is like blending in, you can always put a bit of a like a black and then fade it out, like just to give some uh, like you know bring it to maybe seven percent or so. And then do like a mask, just or you can just darken the tone, the skin tones a little bit more. Just give your if you want to keep white, so you keep consistency through it. I like it, I, but that bacon deer burger yeah. was amazing. Like that, I think I would do the rest of them in that style. Yep, yeah. and uh, change up. Like ATGH also says, change thumbnails from time to time. Exactly. So uh, that answers Stanley's question to go back and uh, change them any time. Yep. And sorry for putting you on the spot. And I hope you don't mind because you just joined. But it was a great example of it. It really did what we were talking about, about standing out and that. So very cool. Kirby. Hey. <laughs> sorry, because I've been doing this side. Have you been here for a bit? So good to see you here. Who's up next, huh? You look badass, Donnie. You always look mm. badass. Uh, well, Donnie is next, actually. Donnie is next. Alrighty. Donnie Shaw. I'm finding if I upload my vlogs later, I'm not getting as many views as I would before. Whenever. Well, you got to yeah. look at your analytics. Go yeah. look at your analytics for every day and check the times that work best for you and then create a scheduled uh, um, calendar for each day where you know which time slots work the best it's not just random posting that gets you views so it's a very good observation and all social medias work like that like even yeah. when if facebook we have always timed everything out and uh we have times that we do stuff so, well the twitter ones for youtube co coincide with when we upload uh the videos from youtube so but there's YouTube. different stuff that i post Put on different yeah, that's what I'm gonna too. say. I was saying that's why I said for the YouTube stuff. And that's yeah. Social Blade, exactly. Yeah, so definitely check your analytics, Canadian. It's it's definitely worth it for that. It's so important. And if you any big YouTuber will spend most of the time talking about their analytics more than anything else. That's their Bible. That's what they set their clock to. That's when they look for the right time to put things out there. They really, really put a lot of effort into that because that's their bread and butter, and they know that they strike at the right time. And we, like, even us, we have some things that we do that I can't even give out, and those guys will never, like, they'll probably take it to their grave when they do it. As not ours isn't for competition, but it's, it would, um, it's just better off we don't say anything about it. It's, but there is a rhyme and a reason most times why we're we're doing what we're doing when we're doing it. It's to maximize. So let's go to Donnie's first about. Donnie, I remember this from when we were bringing you on. You need a couple more lines here. I know you're, and you're not a man of many words. You always got joy. You always got all kinds of stuff. You know, thicken this up just a little bit more. Know a little bit more about you. Maybe an extra two, three lines, and you should be good. And it's good you have your links right here. They're all set up. 
Yes, Night Shane, we always shoot past the time. Yeah, that's um, our signature series. <laughs> do live stream include the watch hours? Yes. Yes, big time. Featured channels. Yeah, the kids' channels. Yeah. That's amazing. I love that. And to see the links that are active and all that. Yeah. That is so cool. I love this show. They're both cute, but I just thought about that. I love that it's got that 1950s like Dennis the Menace type thing. That's, yeah, you can tell you can tell who the daddy is. <laughs> uh, hello, Thomas Schmidt. See, you good. You're good with your. Uh... I love the neon light uh, thumbnails. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, and uh, the consistency of it. I really enjoy that. Yep. Yeah. And it's good because that's what we were saying. Like when people are watching your videos, there's gonna be suggested videos down the side, and they're not all gonna be yours. But what the way you do yours, they'll be able to see. Oh, sorry, what did he say? Indeed. What did he say? We're not experts on things. We're just sharing what we are doing with our videos yeah. uh, and what we have noticed works and doesn't work, and what you know. It's it, we we're not the million subscriber channel, so can't yeah. listen to us. The only truth we are just sharing what <laughs> and, we think and works if for we us. give any inkling at any moment, like we don't crash and burn. Please know that that is not the case. Far from it. We're just sharing our mistakes and as well yeah. and stuff like that. Like, you know how discouraging it is to go back and start doing all these thumbnails? Like, it's not that I want to do them. I would wish there was something that would just come and take over for me. But I know how important it is. And that's why I do them. And we've changed descriptions. We've changed titles and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. And tags and all that. It's been ongoing mm -hmm. since we ever even started this. Uh, by the way, suggestion for you again, Panic D. I know you have been putting polls on Twitter about uh, what to do with the content. How about putting a poll out on titles? Come up with the three titles that you would think you would want to use and let people vote out mm -hmm. and put the one that works for people. It's a good idea. We are not experts. <laughs> Polynesian. Mm, good God, no. Your thumbnails, I'm like Xenia, I like it, just that the text is hard to read. That's the only thing with them is uh, maybe a color that stands out more from the rest of them a bit. If there was anything, that'd be it. Because your backgrounds are all great. And because you keep consistent backgrounds, you can have like a color that stands out from them and uh, pops more. Uh, maybe not shadowed or outlined. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest of it, I like it because, like I say, in, this, in the suggestions, I can tell right away another one of your videos is coming. Okay, let's see. I like the colors. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's nuts like you are. Yeah. It's 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 really describes yeah. what your videos are. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it kind of associates with that. You and just, I love it's, those neon. It's just something that kind of come around a little bit like yeah i love map. that yeah the second the yeah. third one i love those better than the first one because it, yeah. it pops out more that blue disappears their country yeah. than anything unfortunately that's the only thing like around there is either pick one that's like a uh, another bright color like this that stands out on its own or you put like a white edging around it of something i would go more with a uh, yeah, you're next, guys, yeah. APJ Travels. They have to go uh, oh, okay. soon because uh, 6 a.m. work coming up. Sure, no problem. So I'm just going to open this up. I just want to see something here. And then we're going to uh, move on to the next. So that was chat. We're just going to scroll down. because I got... Now you see, look at right away. You see how he stands out? Because you're, you've seen already one of his. So you see the thumbnail. They stand out right away. Anybody who follows your channel right away is going to know it's another one of yours. Look at the consistency. That's good. That's what you want. Right there. That you don't even have to look at it. You're like, oh, that's one of Donnie's. That's one of Donnie's. And then more chance of them clicking on to what you have. But all in all, great job. That's the only thing I would change if I were you is just make the other the other like the Donnie Shaw show on those neon ones stand out a bit more. But good stuff. Take care of yourself, Dexter. Nice talking to you. ATGH Travels. Yes, huh? Uh, just followed back um, uh, Kirby. 
and that's the thing see your channel is different from your handle on twitter so and, you know but i just followed you back i don't know what's going on here with my atg trouble trouble are you there we go and we're up so let's go to the about section this channel oh my god i can't even post this hang on oh no i like it um i uh, this is one thing i've noticed a couple times um it's good. I would rework this a bit. I be, I always think this should be more like a paragraph, like you know, about f like you say, three, four, maybe five sentences. But it should be written more like a paragraph style, which isn't bad because you got everything there. It's just kind of thickening up a little bit. Like I say once again, a bit like a preface for a book, and then a space between that, and then uh, put your uh, put your tags down there for your Instagram and everything. But you also have them here, which is excellent. You also have your PayPal, great. Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, do you guys also have Facebook? I forgot for your site, for your channel. But either or, yeah, I would just make that a little bit thick. It just looks, it shows people that you put the time into it. Because you have put the time, then I would make it like that paragraph that really shows people, you know, you've put the work into it that you want people to know a bit more about you. You have everything there, so it's just kind of padding up a bit, and then space it out and put your tags down, your links down below it, one or two spaces. Can you do this on the phone as well? What do you mean by this? Change uh, your YouTube? Yes, uh, you use YouTube Studio app uh, that you download separately, uh, and um, yes, you can use. It's a little more it. limiting though than the PC or whatever, but it, yeah, at but, least you can do some yeah, of it. Yeah. Uh, playlists. Oh, playlists. Yeah, you guys got to get some playlists going. Big time. You guys got a lot of videos. And do your categories. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, once again, for con keeping us in the YouTube family one. We really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, you guys got so many videos. Like, Yes, definitely do different kind of playlists. Categorize them by places, or yep. locations, or subjects that you're doing uh definitely that would definitely help out and you guys are you know you're almost in thousand there exactly um weebs world welcome <laughs> like yeah your thumbnails and stuff like that see like this is i i can't read it from here no can't read on the tv either yeah you know same here this this text blends in so your thumbnails are great. It's going back now and finding like just a consistent way, consistent way using some writing that you, you know, look at all your thumbnails and you'll see the color and then find a color that you think is going to stand out on pretty much all of them and try to keep it consistent. I uh, try to think as a thumbnail as a cover of the magazine. Yes. Um, because, I mean, in magazine, every month there are different articles and different scenes, but the cover, still the layout, the way it's done, is still the same. You just replace the template, so to say, with the picture accordingly to the article. Same way as a thumbnail. Uh, to me, for example, it doesn't look like thumbnails, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it needs either more punch, more consistent look of lettering, uh, more consistency. And then you got a lot of the work there. It's just now making it happen. Like here is a great example. Like this is a great shot, but it's just the writing is hard to read. And, uh, you know, it's got a punch. You need lots of contrast. Like I always say, more than you would ever use for like a photograph or if you were making some. So what I try to do is I make the changes I think I got to do, bring up the levels more and stuff, and then I zoom out when I'm editing and then look at it roughly about the size it will be as a thumb. And say, okay, can I read that? Remembering that once it's in YouTube, whether it's in your video selection here or as a suggested video, it's going to be up against other stuff and have punches with it. Because uh, you got great art. Like, there's some really great shots here. Like, I'm looking at your stuff, like Gettysburg, like especially Gettysburg Part Two, and I like these things. Bigger I, fonts. Bigger fonts and and more contrast onto them. You know, you're you're like. 
three quarters of the way there it's just the icing on the cake now to make them really punch out well come down the rabbit hole hey. Kids are in bed yes go have a date night thank you for coming say hi though <laughs> You enjoy making thumbnails. It's great. What are you using for thumbnails? And uh, Kirby just got uh, upgraded to uh, from Filmora to Adobe Premiere with apps. So, oh, congrats! Yeah, it's well exciting. Yep, yeah, you know, there's there's lots of great stuff here. It's uh, like let's just try something here for the fun of it. To uh, summarize it, I would create more playlists yeah, oh, and definitely, redo yeah. your thumbnails. Let's see if we click on Gettysburg Part 2. We're getting some sort of... That's great. Yeah, that's, that's the great. opening for everything. I like it. Well, why not incorporate that for uh, yeah. thumbnail? So what I wanted to see was down here. Let's see if there's other stuff that comes up for Gettysburg. See, this is what. Look and see what comes up when you click on your video, even if, and then you can go do a search on top of it and see how they're making thumbnails. Also, up. remember uh, when we are still smaller channels, uh, we have to make sure that we pay more attention to those. You know, when pe when people have like millions of views, they might not have all this because yeah. they don't need it anymore. Yeah. They have people that come back and back and back exactly like look at this thumbnail that was what i was going to say this thumbnail is god awful god awful but he's got two hundred sixty-one thousand views yeah big channel already so they don't have yeah. to pay attention to it as much you know like i like the one for 405k look at that nice contrast white and orange yes i know yeah that is beautiful that one See how we're reading them right now, like trying to look at them. There's not like. There's some of you guys is here suggested. That's good. You guys got a lot of good things going on. See, that's what it is. It's a lot of just tweaking stuff now. Always use like vidIQ or something like that, that plug in, and then you see here what you're missing. You got to have a high res thumbnail. You got an end screen, so that's okay because it's usually one or the other, right? yeah cards, right okay. well it depends uh captions yeah either captions or end screen yeah i can't have both that's right that's right sorry between them uh you know sorry, share on twitter sorry, sorry. liked on <laughs> facebook uh comment pinned so now you see the things that you got to change and your tags you got to update your tags and put in more tags in there for sure but that's why these things are so good. That's why we use them all the time. We use a vidIQ, and this is sorry, this is TubeBuddy that's doing this one. This one's vidIQ basic, and when you're using them in conjunction, you basically don't even have to pay the subscription because between the two, they do everything. But guys, these things really, really work well. You'll see where your where your issues are, what you got to work on to. So. Yeah, drawing Google Drive, uh, drawing app, exactly. That's a very good idea, actually. Rabbit hole, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and Photoshop, of course, thumbnail, uh, <clears throat> uh, use templates so you don't have to redo them all the time. That's a good idea, too. And Kirby, what is the different uh, information that you get? Because there is different information about any question about YouTube, for sure. Uh, also, you you always gonna think about uh, if it applies to big or small channels because we do believe that there is a huge difference in how you make your video when you are already big and when you're not. Yeah. Because when you're small, you want to get attention. I just don't ring and up. And yeah, definitely, food is gonna be the cen center if you're a food channel, that's for sure. Let's see if I can open this here properly. And now down the rabbit hole, go and watch the movie. <laughs> And here, guys, I'm just doing a quick share, screen share. Here's the new thumbnails that I'm working on for our uh, live streams. So you see, here's our template. So at the top, here's our front stuff. I shut it off. See, all that goes away. And, of course, same for the back. Everything here stays the same. All I'm doing for each one of them is, if you click on them, I name them whatever uh, channel it is that night. 
and then all I have to do is just go and I just can go here, double click, and uh, where you edit the name, and I'll just copy and paste it right in here, and then I just change the number to what it's, uh, which one it's, uh, is that night, which episode, and then I ups upload it. So tomorrow we have a new one. It's just going to go at the top here. All these will be shut off like this. So all I'm going to do is, uh, uh, oh, did I shut off? Uh, did I shut off? I don't know. I have to, there we go. Okay. So I even have my guides up. Where's my shortcut? There. So I know right away, whatever image I bring in has got to fit in here. Sometimes it's hard to get decent pictures from the guests that are going to be on. So that's why on this one, I've set it up that it's going by 720 uh so i can go and even extract something from one of their videos i paste it right in here and it's basically going to fit so each night i'll just put the new one in change the number the name and export it and as you notice our promo video has the bigger version of this everything is set up to be automated so we don't have to go over and re reinvent the wheel every day so that's an example of how we do our thumbnails and that's the same for my uh my um, the ones that I do for the cinematics are the same thing as this. They're in folders because I have to do more editing to them. But see, like these guys here from them last night, what I did was I brought up the contrast, brought up the darks into them, and then played with the hues more to make it punch out more than I would if it was an 8x10. I would keep it more subtle. But because they're going to be thumbnails, I want them to stand out more. All the text works. I kept the blues. This is the Twitter blue because this is the first time we're actually using hashtag uh, in our titles. So I wanted everything to match. And uh, as I said, we go by series. So the, for the live streams now, it's going to be black with the blue writing. Where if it's the winging it, it's black with the white writing. And if it's the cinematics, it's white background with black writing. So people can even go through and see and say right away that what it is of ours. Uh, Kirby, um, with regards to big and small, uh, smaller ones that are growing. Up and coming. <laughs> and bigger ones that are still remember <laughs> that Ooh, they have been small. Awesome. Because as I said, it's the difference between a big and small channel approach to how to do oh, things, sorry. you know. And uh, as regards to thumbnails, uh, I love your latest ones. Like the the last two rows of your uploads are just amazing. You know, it's in the center. It's right there. I just want to eat it right right on. You know, your channel is about food, so uh, that's what exactly what you want there. Um, your mm, your uh, logo kind of disappears there. Uh, I would uh, maybe try and do two versions of it, one black and one in white. So when you put it against the black, it would jump out more. Uh, also try not to use uh, fonts, not just you, but in general that are smaller than 20 mm -hmm. for any kind of posting because they just disappear, they're too little. But pictures are great. The last two rows that you have there, I just want to eat all of it. Mm. So I love it. I'm just bringing it up now. There. Yeah. Like like this here right away. You just you see there. You don't even need words. You don't need nothing because just looking at it makes you your mouth water. <laughs> I know. Like look at you yeah. know. Like I have it in a smaller screen, so that's why one, two, three. Mm -hmm four, five, uh, six, mm. you know, like those first five, six videos are like, wow, I just want to try all of it. But I can't see your logo. So you should have it in white as well uh, if you want to use it. Yeah. Or then just push it in a corner. If you want it unseen, put it in a corner. If you want it seen, put it in a contrast. Uh, like we always have white for our like uh, logo or our like uh, what we use for watermark is uh, I have double colors depending on what uh, color picture. what you could do is yours is do like a try if you want to keep that color do a triangle in the top say like left corner 
and have your logo in there where you have a bit of white around it, you know, so then it's the same as a template. So no matter what color, yeah, colors you have in your photos, it will never get cut off um, and keep it there. And once again, you can make that as a template, you know, and then just keep adding the layers as you go in with your photos and just put a new one on top. And yes, Thomas, so we'll see. It's all about engagement, right? Because, uh, because, um, Engagement is what matters the most, right? So the likes versus comments uh, versus subs. That's that's the algorithm. So if you have million, well, I'm just uh, I'm just exaggerating now. But if you have millions of subscribers, but you have only two people commented, mm -hmm. well, it's not going to work well on the algorithm, right? Um, because what they are all of the social media are pushing on is interaction. Yeah. It's getting you on the site as long as possible. Again, because it's business, because they want money for their advertising. But, yeah. uh, but nevertheless, it's that's exactly why, and uh, that's why when I see, for example, big numbers on Twitter, uh, and then nobody retweets their things, and or nobody likes it, it's like, well, okay, you have your fifty thousand or whatever, but nobody is really seeing or interacting with your tweets and it's kind of not no point of having those 50,000 audience. There was a rapper just went through it and he actually got caught because it showed that he was buying watch time because he had all these here likes on his Twitter but like you know seven interactions it makes no sense it's so disproportionate yeah. it'd be like passing somebody's house that's worth 2.5 million dollars and there's like an old burnt out Honda Civic like that's 15 years old parked in the front it don't make sense. And there's some something's not right. There's no balance there. Um, it, it's better off to engage and get people engaging on your videos. You know, get them ask questions and that's uh, answer them back right away. And if you can ask them another question, hopefully they'll come back and answer it. The more you keep people engaging onto it, the more the the social media, whatever the social media platform is, going to like you for it. And yes, we use. Uh, two buddy Vida Q, uh, all both at the same time running as extensions all the time, so therefore we can see the tags and all that uh, um, on other channels as well. See, there's like even here, you see, like I was telling you guys a while ago, see, he's got 100%, 100% here. Here, let's go to one that's 98 just for a change onto it. So he's got 45 likes and one dislike. This is what these plugins are great for because you can even use them on your own. Right away, you get instant feedback on everything. There's so many. Um, I want to show you guys why I want to open this video and just pause it because I can't even watch these food because it makes me too hungry. I know. Way too hungry. <laughs> so good. I want to show you guys. See, this is another thing by vidIQ. Like even, you know, I'm, Kirby's got an amazing channel and say I was looking for some new... Uh, people to interact with. I'll look through and see if he has some that I like. Right away, it's telling me all of these people, that are, um, the subscribers they have, unless they have it banned. You know, I, I have it blocked, excuse me, then there'll be nothing. But you can look right away, because if a channel has like 485,000 subscribers, it's hard to say, hey, I'm a new channel, you're a new channel, you want to help each other out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, you can still try. But... Yeah, you can still, it doesn't hurt to try, you know, it doesn't hurt to give it your full go, but... Uh, that's what I use that for, stuff like that as well. Uh, and also see on, uh, we can also see on his site, here's a great number too. And this is not Gene because anybody can do it with anything. You can see here his tags he used. They're great. Uh, that wasn't a high-res thumbnail? Yeah, it looks, uh, looks yeah, like I it is, but maybe, is it a Kirby, is it a, a frame picture? From your video or is it an uploaded that might be the difference yeah, of that because it looked like it uh, yeah but make sure you save whatever it is at 300 dpi yes. and then save it as a jpeg but it's got to be less than two megs because otherwise uh youtube won't accept it it's uploaded eh check uh, when you get a chance go back and look at it because that's really weird because yeah that picture looks spot on yeah, what are your specifics uh, in the details of the picture for it? Just curious, why does it listed as as not high res? Because it's a beautiful picture. Yeah, you your resolution and size for it especially. Mountain survival. Hello, hello. When are hello. you doing your video? <laughs> <laughs> 
on summer vacation time. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, and does if anybody, guys, who's captions, captions is something else I'm going to mention right away. I'm going to mention this right now. So we're going to go to uh, my channel. We're going to uh, we'll go to my videos. Okay. Closed captions count a lot. And if you see here, the CC, 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 they're there. So I'm going to show you guys something right now. We're going to click on the one we did last night. You usually got to give it about 24 hours for this. So we're there. Uh, we're gonna let this load for a second. I don't know why everything is working so slow. To oh, because of the plugin. That's one thing about the plugins, too, guys. The extensions. It's good to shut them off when you don't need them because they do take a lot longer. So we're gonna go into subtitles here. Now, after about twenty-four hours, usually or so, you're gonna come into subtitles. You're gonna see published English. Okay, these are automatically generated. They're not perfect, and we go back and tweak them usually after, but it's a good place to start. So we're going to click on that. And you're going to see them come up here on the side. It does, this here one takes a, few, a little bit longer, and it's good to let it just run its process. I don't want to force it. And because, like I say, the extensions is taking a little longer. And if this will ever turn. Because I've had them screw up if you don't let them go all the way through. That's why this is one of the few times I'm really patient, which is not something I'm known for a lot. So we're going to hit unpublish. And you see here, eventually you can go back and make changes to all of them. They're all timed up. But once that's all done, and you'll notice the wheel at the top, and it is spinning, because it does take long, because that was, like, for instance, a really long live stream. We're just going to let it run its course. We're not going to force it. So, okay. So the wheel stopped up here. We're back. Then this one will kick in, and we'll go to the first frame. This takes a, a minute or two, but it's honestly well worth it. So now this is all done. Now we're going to hit publish again. And this is really important because this looks very good for the algorithm if you have this. And we're not going to stop it. So you see we have new subtitles. Now I'm going to go back. YouTube. We are going to go do the same thing again, go to my channel. We are going to go to videos. And there we go. We got closed captions. And then we can go back and edit them because it's not perfect. It's, it's doing voice recognition, so it's not perfect. And it takes a long time to do all of them, especially because they're long videos. But we try to go through what we can and clean them up as much as possible. And that really looks good for the other. So now if I click on this video. Let's see. We're going to see what we got and what we're missing. So there we go. So you see there's only thing missing is an end screen and a pin comment. So what I usually do with pin comments, uh, I'm going to go back to one that I had from before. I think the, um, I got to check because I do these every couple of days because sometimes I forget. Through. So I'm going to come here because it's so good to have our social medias. Like I said, we have them in the about. We also do them here in our pin comment. So what I do is instead of pinning people's comments, I just come here and copy. Go back to that video again. Paste. Pin it. 
Hit refresh. And then let's go check our stats again. Oh my God, you see, that's what I mean. These plugins, they really do slow down because they're loading all live time, real time data. So, and you see now we have our comment pinned. So the only thing we're missing is an end screen. And then it shows us all our, our tags. We have a set list of tags that we use each night for our live streams. And then we put a couple at the end and then we'll go fix them a day or two later and see which ones are really missing and not. So right away, like that's where I added the family name in and stuff like that. We added, they have a hashtag for their group, so we put that in as well. And the rest are all pretty much what we use on a nightly basis. And that's what that's pretty much how we do it. But the closed captions, you see, that's another thing. That only takes a few minutes and gets you higher, uh, more love with the algorithm. So, well, uh, Panic D uh, said. Uh... I know you guys uh, say you're not experts, but do you do private consulting? <laughs> Never figured about this. One. I said we could do like a private one-on-one, -on -one step by step. Uh, you know, yeah. just to mm -hmm. see if it helps um, um, when they're off work. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, the best practice is a great checklist. That's so true. So very true. That's why TubeBuddy helps so yeah. much. Uh, and Sticky Butt said, oh, no, I can see so much <laughs> with extensions because that's right. And you can learn so much, too. So yep. every time you go watch some kind of uh, video, you right away see all the information about them. So you don't even have to look for it. You're just there uh, learning as, as you watch the videos. Yep. Uh, yes, you can yes. download them as a file, right. different kinds of files, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, if you're going to do that one using the automated, though, I would go through everything first and make sure it's spot yeah, on. Yeah, because some stuff there is so funny. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, but at least you have them, so to say. And uh, and I had a, we had a suggestion here uh, in chat one day when I was asking about the captions for videos and they don't have any words mm -hmm. that have music, for example. And the suggestion was, and it's so true because I was double check checking it afterwards, uh to put the mood of the video or the music that is on like if the music changes like put in the right away what kind of music yeah. is so the person who can't hear it uh would have a better uh perception of the mood that yeah. you're creating with the video so that way you get as well the caption and people uh who uh, can't hear the music uh, can also maybe enjoy partly the mood or there's with. thunder you write thunder yes. or banging drums uh Angry, angry metal, uh, soft contemporary, yeah. squeaking uh, of the door. Yes, you know? things like that. Uh, crows, uh, you know. Yeah, anything that know, kind of stands any, out. Any sound that is. Uh, yeah, pitch, you, yeah, you set the mood for the beginning, and then you go from there. Uh, Florida Pirate Adventures, thank you so much for coming. Have a great night. Yeah, you can for the text file. Yeah. Uh, how are you with B roll? B-roll, pretty much, if you go back and look at my cinema, cinema uh, why am I having so much trouble with that word lately? I don't know. And they also asked about if uh, when are going to do the urban videos again. Here we asked as well. Yeah, I want to get back into them. And I do miss them. We've had a lot of stuff going on outside. Plus, like, work starts to get busier for us right now. Um, it, like I said, just trains alone. Just forget everything else that I have. Just trains alone. I think I have 135 gigs that I haven't gone through yet. <clears throat> I've organized some of that and I mean I have like the video she brought back the 80s to Montreal that's just completely b-roll of driving through Montreal and a photo shoot exactly did with my niece a lot of my videos here uh, that's what I was talking about with another channel I love called land sea air Canadian what are they called land sea air mm -hmm. anyways we were talking with them and they do the same thing because they have customers all the time and they use the b-roll footage as what they put up on uh up on uh, on YouTube, I love B roll. <laughs> yeah, that's right, UP. <laughs> yeah. Enough and for another a... ten hours of trains, I think UP. <laughs> yeah. I asked him to go and shoot some new ones, and I think he's hesitant because he already has a lot of videos. Yeah, I don't like know what to do with never it. Never edited. One thing I want to do this summer is with my son because last year we went from the Ontario border to Kingston. I want outside of Montreal this time. I want to go the opposite and go outside of Montreal to Quebec City. 
that's what uh kind of my next thing i'd like to do but i love b-roll that's what most of my that's why i like to shoot for myself and what i put up here is i always let the music decide what's going to go on so i'll go listen to music for days and find songs that i truly love and then sometimes it takes months to find the the, the b-roll that works with it to make because uh, in my videos i would always say except for like the hour-long train ones pretty much every one of them has music and it's based on the idea that the music is the main character not the video but um that's just my way of shooting and the uh yes it's a very good idea um uh... Uh, I would join it with uh, a comment of T-Rock. It's kind of like a script because I would use it as a base. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you definitely can use it as a base uh, to write it, but you would have to uh, adjust it because if you do, as Andrew said, if you do do automatic ones that are good enough for YouTube, uh, they won't be good enough just to copy paste. It, some sentences just don't make sense even. So you would have to go through it, but uh, it's a good way of uh, saving time and having the post at the same time. So yes, good idea. To Nicholas, I thought I understood B-roll, but with some of your comments, I realize I don't. Basically, I don't, tonight I'm on the Linus Tech Tips kick, I guess. I go through that, I get one channel in my head. <laughs> they do product reviews, you know, they always talk about tech stuff. The main role, the A role is when he's talking, you know. Uh, this is the new computer from Aces, and we're going to be looking at it tonight. We're going to have something. That's all the A-roll. The B-roll is all the panning shots of the laptop, the coming down from the side, the filming around the background, shooting it close, shooting it from far away. All the things that are done to enhance the, vid the video that aren't directly just pointed at the laptop or at him talking. And I mean, you can use it anywhere. That's what B-roll is, is all the app. Like if you're watching a news story and they're talking about, they'll shoot the main shots. You know, they'll talk to the guy. Uh, yes, we're trying to have this park stop because we don't want it to be built here because we don't want kids in this area. So they got that. That's their A-roll. The B-roll is once they're done interviewing the guy, they'll take a pan of the park, where the park would go, the neighborhood, uh, different angles like that. And then that's what they'll put in. So that's your B-roll. Creating the setting. Yeah, creating the setting. And it does, we take it for granted. I love B-roll. I'm more into B-roll than I am into the to the main shots. I, I love, that's why Rizori and Buck did a video, like, because he had asked me a question months ago about how I get these great shots. And I said, well, shoot it 100 times from 100 different, um, different uh, uh, viewpoints, and hopefully one of them will be good. And then he did the video about that. And that's what it's all about. It's just shooting everywhere you can. And uh, uh, that's where your great B-roll comes from. Same as for panning shots as a side note for that. Like all these panning shots that I do and up and down. You always trim your edges. I know bottle caps gets bent out of shape when I talk about it with drones. But for me, if the drone goes up this way, you have this beautiful shot of it coming up, coming up into the sky. That's where you cut it. You don't, I would take out the like jerky cutting, turning, unless you're shooting to show the drone flying, then you definitely want it in. But there's where I would cut it. And then when it's panning across the other side, that's where I'd fade into the next. Uh, same with train videos. I've got some heat from some of the train guys who didn't like some of my stuff because I put uh, music over it or some like it because I'm not shooting it the way they, some of them want it shot with a camera from when that train appears from around the bend till it leaves without ever shutting the camera off with all jerks and shots. That's because that's what they're looking for. Hello, Philip. Yes, Philip. How are you? I think we're soon on our way out because we've had a couple of long days. I'm even starting my throat is killing me. I hope I'm not getting what my daughter has. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a cold. She had like a terrible, terrible flu. I hope, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, been... it's always fun with your family because you're just wondering when one gets sick, okay, when does the shoe drop and the next one get it? What is that? This has been a doozy of the week, mm -hmm. and it's only Tuesday. Yeah, God love her. She was, um, she was really sick. Like, we were all wondering for a while if it wasn't like food poisoning or something because she doesn't get sick like that very often then i mean she was just like death warmed over it's probably gonna take a couple of days to get back because energy level is so low now she's mm. she's is drinking though which is the main thing so uh as far as that is good mm. 
interesting to see what you can do with the channel using the computer i only started my channel to save private videos of my boys to share the link with my family and live far away exactly i mean that's what i think a lot of us start i mean we all have family far away um and we live in an unbelievable age of technology that we take for granted so much because it changes so often now like look at us right now i'm always just an example we're broadcasting to you guys yes it's not a broadcast studio. yes we're going to get some better equipment for doing it yeah we have a broadcasting studio yeah, here you didn't yeah, know that yeah that's right <laughs> thought i'd throw that one in <laughs> i wonder if you're going to say anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next week we're gonna try uh let's make your thumbnail tuesday tuesday tech talk uh try different approaches maybe andrew can do uh some tutorial again on photoshop and uh i'll do some for you on canvas that would be cool yeah uh the same way as we did today with the channels pick me pick me <laughs> uh <laughs> first come yeah. first serve uh so we'll do that next week and thank you to Nicholas. Yeah, I know he's a little, we look a little more worn down than usual. Yeah, I see, yeah, time. Andrew hasn't slept last night at all, and I've been running uh, mm. with Audrey and not sleeping. Plus, my pain medication hasn't been there for three months, and it's finally taking its toll. So, <laughs> yay, <laughs> life! Uh, thank you, UP forty two hundred four, and that's what I mean. Some don't mind it, some do, and that's uh, you know I appreciate that, and that. That's just the way it is. I don't take offense to it if somebody does. It's everybody's got their own opinion on it, so it's all good. But I'm glad that you like it because I'm glad you're here. So uh, definitely. Oh, and I wanted to mention, by the way, uh, that we are um, did the summer vacation tag uh, last Tuesday, and we tagged some <coughs> of the uh, creators uh, with us. Uh, and uh, for now, we have had. Um, uh, summer tag from the happy canadian uh down the rabbit hole did the summer vacation tag as well mm -hmm. uh go check her out and i tweeted it out as well and mountain survival did the summer vacation tag as well uh so we're yeah. going to be tweeting that out tomorrow so go check it out uh, if not go check out today answer all the uh great questions about their future summer vacation it's cool like Mount Survival is a newer one to us, and it's a nice like jump right into it. I love when channels are yeah, doing that. Yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah, right, I right, love right. that too. It's a great honor, guys. It's been so nice hanging with all of you tonight. And I know it's tech talk. We actually did more tech tonight, I would say, in a way that we did in a while. Well, yeah, it yeah, was. Like, I mm -hmm. mean, it was a great idea by Benjamin, by the way. Uh, uh, and thank you guys for those who volunteered uh, to be in a. Yep. <laughs> on the chopping block of that exactly no, no it was a lot of um, <laughs> hey, yeah. thank you oh 60 likes uh terrell do you ever think you would want to come on as a guest i know you don't you're not in front of the camera so i don't ever feel about it but if you're ever interested we're more than happy to have you on eh? you know well guys we this is where we thank each and every one of you for making it an awesome stream we don't do much here it's you guys that make it that way we appreciate oh my god jewish redneck you peppers you're killing <laughs> us tomorrow night we have a guest at 8 p.m eastern if you can make it i would love to have you come in right at the beginning i always catch you at the end i would love to you'd be actually an interesting guest too sometime i hope you, we can connect but yeah uh I, if tomorrow night 8 p.m eastern if you can i would love to have you in earlier because i i feel so bad all the time and you're an awesome channel I really like your setup on that. I think it's so amazing. UP, check the link that I post put in. It's a tweet about the summer vacation tag, uh, including the link to exact place where we talk about it on our live stream. So click that on and check it out. Mm. Uh, good night, good night. Uh, see yes. you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Beauty mm. and the Bird. Yep, it's going to be a great night. And Thursday night, Shane is going to be on, and we're going to reveal his amazing education. Yeah, it's going to be great, guys. we got a great lineup this week. Uh, love you all. See you tomorrow night. Cheers and keep creating, guys. Have a good one. Bye now.